You know when you see a little chick in the, in the nest going like this, waiting for its mum to bring its food? That's how I feel a bit like that today. I'm so tired. Uh, Yesterday, wasn't it a fantastic day yesterday, Anna Maria Horner? Uh, thank you for all your fabulous emails and texts and your messages on Facebook about that. Um, and then I went to Festival of Quilts afterwards, and I'll be showing you some pictures later of uh, Festival of Quilts as well. We've got a fabulous stand there if you are going today or tomorrow. It's only the two days left. And of course, tomorrow, I'm in the theatre tomorrow afternoon with uh, Mandy Shaw, I'm doing a show with Mandy Shaw in the theatre tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Is it Friday? What day is it? Saturday. 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 I thought yesterday was Monday. I got so confused. Uh, anyway, would you like to have a look at today's menu? Here we go. Coming up today, fun with fabric. Well, that's every day, isn't it? Uh, back by popular demand, the Panda Pop Quilt. Now, we've got one colourway that you've seen before and two brand new colourways. That's Joe Carter doing that. Then, of course, we've got a Super Pre-Cut Saturday. Now, that's a mix and match of uh, Fat Quarters. It's Fat Quarters and Fat Quarter Books. That's me on my own. Then at uh, 10 o'clock, we've got... Oh, is this, was, did little Paul write this? Whale hello there. I know. More of that later. Uh, that's Joe Carter, obviously, with her uh, very fluffy whale. And then Fabric Fiesta. Oh, I've got some lovely fabrics in the last hour. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous batiks, uh, which went, uh, flew out. They absolutely flew out. Was it last week or the week before I had them? Anyway, we've got more new ones today. More new ones today. So that's today's uh, menu. Now, what we want is we want you to get in touch. And the best way to get in touch is by going to our website, which is www.sewingquarter.com. Uh, and we'll show you now. There we go. So you go to the website. You click at the top. You see where it says watch. You click on there. Yep, watch today's show. And then you get a bigger version of uh, the menu. Uh, and then what you do is you scroll down the page. See on the right-hand side, they've moved it across there to message the studio. What you can't see on our screen is that that big square to the left of it is filled with ideas and things that you might want to buy. But just write your message there, whale hello. Uh, keep that one short, because after two sentences, it does cut you off. Uh, they are sorting, out, sorting it out in development, but as yet, nothing. Now, if you scroll down the page, you see all of those. They are fabrics and notions and all sorts of things that I had yesterday. Uh, oh, that's an unusual picture, isn't it? They're, oh, now, now. Does that mean some of those fabrics? They all sold out, those fabrics. Oh, oh, it's all gone. It's all disappeared. Uh, what, what happened now is everything that we um, are showing you today... Everything that we're showing today will appear where there's a blank screen at the moment. And you can just, if you're watching later on, you can just click on them and pop them in your basket. Talk about popping them in the basket, you can scroll to the top of the page. And you'll see there where it says, keep going up, keep going. There you go, where that, that bundle is there, where that uh, cushion bundle is there. Um, you can always pop, pop things in your basket from there. What you need to do is click on it, goes to your basket, then you need to check out straight away. Lots of ladies saying to me in, um, oh, is that what's in your, it's, what's happened there? Oh, that's things in your basket, and then things that might go with things in your basket. If you've got nothing in your basket, but you've got things that you might quite like. That's interesting. Anyway, 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 um, uh, make sure you check out, because I don't want you to miss out at all whatsoever. You can also send us an email with your picture, any pictures or email messages you can send there as well. And that one is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right? OK, now, shall we have a look at the picture of what Joe's making? We're doing the panda quilt again, back by popular demand. I haven't got it. Normally, I'd be standing here holding it, wouldn't I, like this? But it's on the wall. Have a look. Look. Now, that's the one using the Joel Jubri atrium um, Charm pack. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, I need to warn you. I do need to warn you. Every time we do this quilt, it sells out. And not like by the end of the hour. Usually by about 12 minutes past, it's sold out. So if you want it, and you, want, you definitely, definitely want it, put it in your basket and check out or ring the number. Or ring the number. We had so many people at Festival... I've gone on about Festival Quilts a lot today. So many people saying how brilliant the customer service team are. And they said on the day... Remember, we had the sale day that was manically, manically busy. They said they were answering the phones really quickly. They were charming. They sorted out problems. They were just brilliant. That's all I ever hear about this call centre is how brilliant they are. So that's a really, really... I'll have to go and meet them one day. A really, really... Not in our buildings. It's not like where I used to work where I could run across and shout at them. They're not in the building at all. They're in the UK somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. 
Right, I have got three bundles uh, for you to see for, to make this uh, panda quilt. The first one is a uh, Kaif Facet um, charm pack. So, um, do you think look at this first order still? This one, obviously. So you get the sunshine charm pack. You get uh, half a meter of the black fabric. Oh, now I'm, I've got confused now. Yeah, I, I've got it. I've, Uh, that's right, and a meter of the other two. Sorry, I stu stu stuttered there. Cause, uh, right, but look at the kit. Look at the kit. Stay on that still. So you get the instructions, you please. You get the three uh, embroidery threads. You get the white thread. You get the fabric. You get the polyester wadding. You get the black thread. And you get a pencil mark uh, uh, marker, fabric marker. And you get the bond web. Yep, for £56.95. pence. That's brilliant, isn't it? So that's the K-Facet. That's the Sunshine Panda Pop Quilt by Joe Carter, no less. She even gets her name on the credits now, for goodness sake. Then we've got the Joel Drewby, which is the one, that, the one we've got made. This is what that one's made out of. This is what that one's made out of. So you get the Joel Drewby uh, Charm Pack, half metre of the black, one metre of the white, one metre of the hair in grey linear. Oh, sorry, I was pointing it out there. That's right. Try it, try it, try it. Look at that. £51.95. There's the fabric. So you get all of this... I think £51.95. Now, this one, which you've never seen before, uh, which Joe's going to demonstrate today. She didn't know she was demonstrating it, but she is now. <laughs> um, is this new one that we put together. And it's, you love the spot-on fabric. So what you get, so you get half a metre of the red, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the kiwi, half a metre of the teal, half a metre of the yellow. Then they're all spot-on. And then you get the heron fabric. You get a metre of that. You get a metre of the white and half metre of the black. There they all are. For £63.95. So that's brilliant, because you're getting all you're getting. So what's it? It normally tells you in total. So one, two, two and a half, three, four, five metres of fabric you're getting there. Plus everything else. Plus everything else. Right. We're both so tired today. <laughs> we'll do our best, won't we? Mm. And she's, she's just, just cut herself, haven't you? I have. I'm not even sure how. Oh. I just look, yes. Oh. So, well, just, I'll hold the scissors then, shall I? <laughs> right, uh, we, love, we love this quilt. Everybody loves this quilt, don't they? Uh, absolutely beautiful. Is, uh, I'm sorry to be a nuisance, but is the heating on in here? I, I switched it on, but it feels like we've got... It feels hot in here, doesn't it? <laughs> it feels a little bit warm. A little bit sauna-like. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, so now, so now, so now. So, um... We've not done it in the spots before, have we? We've so not, it's, no. It's going to look gorgeous. So we've got the spot fabrics with the pandas popping up amongst the spot fabrics. Yes. So all the instructions come in the kit. This is your creation, isn't it? Your um, panda quilt creation, this one that we're making. But the instructions are fantastic. Look, that sounds like my voice is broken, doesn't it? <laughs> um, the, the, instruction, yes, the instructions are thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Clear. Clear and concise. That, which I'm not being. Clear and concise. <laughs> I might just use this as a fan. Do you want to start? I'll just stand here and start. Shall I? Yeah, go on. OK. <laughs> You've got a lot to do. The first step is preparing the clamshells. Right. So we have two different sorts. We have the plain white ones for the faces. Yes. And the printed ones for the... Not pandas. Yes. For the clams. For the clams. Um, do, the the pandas do the pandas hang out with clams then? Or do they eat them? No, they're vegetarian, aren't they? Aren't they pandas vegetarian? They eat bamboo, don't they? Uh, they're not near the sea, are they? Are they? Uh, no. No, they probably I've never, never seen met. one swimming. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but they're treated in different ways. So I'll do the printed ones first. Yes. Now, the template is in the... This is my scruffy one that I've used right. many times. Oh, there. The template's here. So if you have the spot-on one, that's no problem. You can cut them out of the fabric. Yeah. If you have the charm pack, it fits just inside. Oh, okay, brilliant. Let me just let me put that there. I'll do, I'll do it the, the pattern way up so that it doesn't glare at the camera so much. So from the charm pack, the, it fits perfectly. Obviously, with the spot-on one, you get half a metre of fabric, so you can tessellate them and everything like that. But from the charm pack, it absolutely fits perfectly. Because that includes seam allowance, doesn't it? It does. And for around the curve, oh, it's yes. a slightly larger seam allowance. Right. So from the, you need to cut out... The template for the fabric, but also card templates. 
Oh, OK. I have mine in pink, but I have checked that when they're damp, the colour, the pink won't transfer onto okay. the fabric. OK, so that's without the seam allowance, is it, that one? This is without the seam allowance. Right. So once you've cut the fabric out with the seam allowance, you then use the cardboard templates to shape them. Right. Now, you can print out... You'll need a few of these, I would yes. say, between five and ten, right. think, probably. Um, you could print them out, glue it onto card, and then cut them out like that if that's easier. Yeah. So the way we need to fold this fabric over so it mirrors the curve, and the oh, easiest yes. way to do this is with some foil. Right. Just some kitchen foil, just normal kitchen foil. Just regular kitchen foil. Kitchen foil. So is the spray starch around? Yes. So that's quite helpful. It helps keep the curve. What flavour have we got today? Which flavour did you pick? Hayley's producing several. Linen, linen fresh, this one. Is that what you've got? Yeah, linen fresh. Um, I'm not going to do what Tash did. They look, they're good. We sell it, <laughs> if you go to the website, we've got it in Lavender, we've got linen fresh, and we've got it in no scent, right? And they are beautiful. This one is, this one's really lovely because it smells like what you expect a laundry room, just clean. Uh, but Natasha went like this, psh, and then breathed in. Of course, it's starch, isn't it? So um, you don't do that. But anyway, so there's your starch. OK. So just give... It's 4 95 there. Oh, there it is. The fabric. A little spritz. Right. And this Why are we help. doing that? Why are we putting starch on it? You don't have to, but it does really help to Ooh. hold... It does smell nice. Yeah. To hold the curve in place. So I'll put the template on. Yes. So quarter of an inch seam allowance, six millimetres around here, but it's wider. It's more like five-eighths. Right. Of an inch around the yeah. top. And then centre your template on. And then bring the foil around using the edge of the card as a guide. Just fold the foil. And the foil, because it it stays in place, will hold the fabric to the right. curve. We've That's done this down. before, haven't we? On um oh no, it was Lucy did it on her when she did a circle quilt or something we did we used the, this technique doing that as well it is really helpful for curve see if you're appliquing a curve there we go so i'll get that pressed down and then i'll press it with the iron oh right now we've got a different iron today well no you've seen it before but we haven't got the, the big iron because we've got this amazing oh, this amazing little iron which you've lo oh you, which you love sorry i'm out of completely out of there um <laughs> Which I can't tell you, but Joe jo has done a little film about this iron. <laughs> but you're not, not allowed to know that yet. You will be seeing it very soon. Now, there's no steam in that iron, but you could use steam. Well, you don't need use. to use steam, but you could use steam with it. I'll, go, I'll take you through the iron in a second. The foil's really helpful because it holds the fabric in place, but also it conducts the heat. Yes. So I'm just going to press all around that curve. Just to make sure it's held in place. I'm going to open this out. Just give it a little press on the front as well. So if you've got lots and lots, would you make all of your... Because how many have you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, Would you make all 38 of them to start with? I do, because I like to have... Once I've started with something, I'd like to just carry on. And right. So I like them all stacked up there, ready to go. So I'll do one more. Spritz. So that you're only doing the colourful ones like this. You're not doing the pandas like this, are you? The panda faces, no, they're done in a different, different way. way. Oh, sorry. Let me just put them to fold. Reusing right. the foils, recycling. Um, what made you, what, what inspired you to do this um, quilt? Did you have a, one of your... Flashes of inspiration, or were you at the zoo, or what? Do you want the absolute truth? Oh no! I could, Remember, it's no, only no, quarter past eight in the morning. No, no, it's just not the most. Um, I, the editor of the magazine, asked me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's honest. We believe in honesty here. What? So they said, make up a quilt with pandas and clams in it. Yes. Could you do a clamshell quilt, a, a mini, but incorporate an animal and maybe a panda because of the black and white oh, okay. propagates the colour. So it was not my idea. I can't take credit oh, for the idea. You've taken all the money for it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also, the little faces, all the touches are yours, aren't they? You know they what I mean? 
I do love a little, because I have quite a small workroom and a small desk. Yeah. I do like having a little iron. Well, it's, it's, it's just it. as powerful as a big one. I'll take you through the iron in a, in a second, 39.95. Oh, yeah, if you've made a panda quilt, because we've done it a few times, if you've made a panda quilt, then you send us a picture. Uh, it has to be by email. It has to be by email. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio, Studio <laughs> at sewingquarter.com is where you need to send it in. I've just, I've just been trying to be helpful. And I was just um, spreading out the foil to use it again. Of course, it's got all starch all over it. <laughs> Are you making another one now? No. Uh, right. uh, oh, you've already made hopefully. it. Oh, in that little moment, you've made loads. OK, then. So we've got our 38 things for that, uh, um, yes. clams in that shape. And it does take a while, but... Yes. Pop a film on. And <laughs> that's what I always do. Watch us. Don't watch a film. Be watching us. Do it while... Well, I tend to do it at night, though, when... Oh, OK. The, but, yes. No, oh, definitely. I was watching yesterday. Oh, we had, uh, it was fantastic. It a fantastic show yesterday. But when I went to Festival of Quilts, so many people were saying, um, you know, how they just adore watching it. I mean, um, it's fair. It was so, it was good for the ego because everyone was yeah. just saying how brilliant the whole show was and everything like that. I've got messages coming through. Jessica, oh, oh no, hang on, that's yesterday's. Rowena, met the team yesterday at Festival of Quilts, would send the photo, but not sure how. Rowena, you just send it to that email address. Do you know how to transfer it from your phone to your email address? Uh, to, to, to your email. You just click on it at the bottom. There should be a little square with an arrow. Click on that and it'll say email, save or text or something like that. Just press on the email, then put the address in. It just sends it. Sarah, favourite people on today. Oh, who's on? <laughs> uh, must stop buying material. I'm buried alive. Lots of love, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, thank you. One more very quickly. Uh, hi, John. Nurse Julie here. Hello, Nurse Julie. Love seeing you, watching you with my five-year-old grandson who loves this quilt. Will Julie make it for him? I can't remember his name. Send his name in. Uh, then I've got a question about the quilt now. Uh, Nicola from Oxfordshire. Good morning, both. Already bought this beautiful kit last time. Wouldn't it be easier to use applique glue than foil? It's one of those things that it's whatever you prefer. Is applique glue it's... like the glue stick that we sell normally? No, I think it's slightly different oh, okay. to the... I think it is. But I always use this method. Often, the first way I'm taught, I just tend to stick with... But, but and... also, but also, the only... I don't know what applique glue is, but if you, if, when we do the glue stick, we normally do it on hexes or straight lines or anything like that. Uh, because you want such a... I mean, I might be wrong, Nicola, here. This is just me putting my two pennies in. But because it's such a big curve, it, when you do it with the foil, the foil seems to make it sharp across yes. there. And you might get little bumps going across it using you the could. glue. I don't know. I'm just saying uh, what I would be worried about. I was thinking of um, applique glue to fuse your applique on. No, to glue it to the template. Yes, and then, press and then uh, the template. Would you not think? How would you do it then, otherwise? Because the, the could, only way to get that it. curve is by sticking it to... It might be fiddlier, actually, trying yeah. to get it to stick. Because you do have... I mean, you could notch around the seam allowance, but it's trying to gather because there'll be bits that won't stick to yes. the glue because it gathers. Yeah. I don't know, but find whichever method. Nicola, Nicola, just let, let us know, but thank you for your, for your question. Right, so go on then. You've made 38 of those. I've got those done. The faces, because they're white, you can see sometimes with white fabric, you can, uh, we don't see the backing through or the seam allowance from the colours. Yes. It would show. So the faces are double thickness. OK. Um, and we use the template again. So we'll place that on there. So quarter of an inch seam allowance yeah. around that side. And then with the... Oh, yeah, ever... My is that the, it, That's the one that comes in the kit, isn't it? Yeah. Just trace around the edge of the curve. Is, any, is Hayley talking to us? Oh, uh, just so you know, the Joel Drewbury one, there's less than 10 left. There's less than 10 left of the Joel Drewbury one. Right. Do you want me to press that one for you? Oh, would you mind? Thank you. These are, this sounds brilliant, not just for your holidays, but like Joe said, if you've got a small workroom. It's great, because I can just fit it on the end of my desk. Yeah. You've got one of these that it sits on, then? Um, uh, a towel. I've got a towel. Oh. <laughs> Stop telling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Well, that's it, you see, because we're sitting here for four hours chattering everything. 
You just, well, me, it just all tumbles out. And yesterday, was, everyone said, oh, I like it when you said this. And I was like, did I say that on telly? <laughs> and, we, and they know they know about my ho- I'm going on holidays. This is my last shift for my holidays, by the way. But they go, oh, everyone's saying, have a lovely holiday. How's Norman? How's Nelly? And you kind of think, <laughs> they must know everything about me. And little Paul, right? Because I talk to little Paul all the time. They think little Paul's either very, very tall or very, very fat. And I'm like, <laughs> no, he's little. That's why it's called little Paul. Anyway, carry on. Carry on. So... Instead of this time folding the fabric over, I've drawn around the edge and I'm going to put two right sides together and then use that line to sew along. Oh, OK. So I put those together. Remember, the pen is included in the kit. You've got all of this in the kit. So you can do some sewing. I'm going to do some sewing. So let me move that out of the way. That bottle of starch keeps getting in the way of everything, doesn't it? And there are quite a few curves to sew, but actually following the line like this is quite a nice, easy, sort of gentle way of yes, making exactly. the quilt. Yes, exactly. So how many pandas are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have to do it seven times to make your panda faces. I do. You're right. Buttons in slightly different positions from my machine. Do oh, I press the knot again? Oh, do you know what? I had to lift the foot the other day, and it was a machine I hadn't used before. And could I find how to lift the foot? <laughs> and then I made Jay come in, right? And we're doing a close-up on the on the sewing machine. All you've got is mine and hand, Jay's hands going. Where's it? So many people asked about Jay yesterday as well. <laughs> so many people. Um, go on then. No, I've only still got. Oh, there, Pauline. Fantastic show. Love it. Thank you, Pauline, my love. Another one. Julie, Nurse Julie again. Grant Mason, that's right. Hello, Mason. How are you? Uh, five. One, is one of your children five? No, they're Six. a bit older than that now. Six. Yes. Well, one more. Can't wait to see you at the Festival of Quilts. You can't miss me. I have highlighted blue hair. Can I tell you, Nicola, <laughs> yesterday there were so many ladies with different coloured hair. I was really quite shocked. Lots of pink. There was a lot of pink hair yesterday. Right, go on, carry on. OK, so I've stitched around this curve and I'm just going to clip V-shaped notches just to remove some of the bulk, but avoiding the stitches. Yeah. And is that, is that, uh, that line, dis is, that a, is this a washable or is this the... Um, it's the erasable one, so you just give it a bit of a spritz. But you don't, but you don't need to, because you, you won't see it, will you? Or do you need to get rid of it? It might show. OK. I mean, you can, you can remove it later if you want. Because when you do the quilt, if you mark on the quilting lines for the the areas that don't have clamshells, when you come to get rid of those, if any of these show, you can oh, yes. sort of block those out at the same time. Uh, the scissors that Joe's just used there, they're the general purpose scissors, but still very sharp. But you can use them for anything, general purpose scissors, 16 pounds of water. These ones you can let your husband use. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? Yeah. I probably wouldn't, though. I wouldn't, you? No. I'm quite fiercely protective of my scissors. And then to turn them the right way out, I use I keep the template on one side just because it helps to push out the curve. Oh, okay. Make sure all the seam allowance is on one side. Just give it a little push up, and I'll give it this one a press. Oh, I'll just go around the back. Lots of you asking what um, Joe's wearing around her neck. To celebrate the Festival of Quilts. Now, I didn't wear it. I, they wanted me to wear it yesterday, and I thought that won't go around my fat neck. But it's actually quite long, isn't it? It is. No, it's, <laughs> my neck's still too fat. <laughs> um, it's made by Tati Vine. It is laser cut. I'll just show it to very quickly. Exclusive to Sewing Quarter, we've got one that says Quilter, and I don't know if we've got the one that says Sewist anymore. We'll have a look. £30. Oh, look, no even, no dot, naught, naught is £30. With a hexy hanging from it. It's cute, isn't it? Ash might take some of them. Can I take some of these with me tomorrow? Oh, right, won't be making any more. Won't be making any more once these have all gone. There's a couple of Sewist ones left, but I could sell these tomorrow at the Festival of Quilts. 
Our stand at, um, at Festival Quilts, lots of you are asking, oh, where can we buy anything? It's not a buy -y one. It's just to come and sit and have a cup of tea and chat and make a hexy for charity. That's all. That... Joe's there this afternoon or tomorrow, aren't you? And yeah. I'm there tomorrow. And basically what we're doing is we're making little um, flower, hexy flowers. Everybody can sit down. The fabrics are all there. The, the little bits of cardboard, templates are all there and everything. And um, then when you made your flower, you just pin it on the board next to all the others. And we're going to make... Uh, quilts for the Linus Foundation, I think it's called. So, um, so your little, you can come and have a bit of fun, and it all goes to charity as well. Okay, oh, pictures. Oh, here we. Oh, this is me. Yes, now this, uh, this is um, Tilly sent me this picture. You remember? T you, not you remember Tilly. You know Tilly. I haven't been on air with her for ages. That was me yesterday. Now you see, that's the the chess. Or oh, you don't know that, but that's our dresser from the other room. They nicked it. You see behind my hat, my left arm. They're all the. Um, Hexy flowers that I was just telling you about, the people had made just today to go on the quilts and everything. That's the actual, that's what you're looking for. If you are going to first quilt, see the big number nine behind it? That's entrance number nine. So if you come through there, there's a security guard, because to the right there is the VIP lounge, and you can only get into the VIP lounge, you've got a VIP sticker. And I didn't have a VIP sticker, so I couldn't go. But you just come through, and we're literally there. And then behind it, and this side of it, there's a cafe either side of it, get a cup of tea, come and do some hexes with us. Oh, got a message from Anita, have we? I've got nothing as yet. Yeah, Anita, just back from Festival Quilts. So many inspiring quilts. Everyone should go. So excited to win my first quilt. You've won a quilt. Anita, well done, my love. Right, carry on. OK. Yep. So once the panda faces are done and the printed ones, then the eye right, patches... You've taken the pink cardboard out, have you now? I've, I've then? taken the pink yeah, cardboard, yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. So it's... Empty in there. I, I just use that to help press the curve because they are slightly fiddly to try and roll it, roll yeah. it out all the way along. And then the eye patches and the nose are appliqued on. So these have, I've got a selection here, and I'll do some ears in a moment, but while the iron's on. So you've already ironed the bond web on. Now, how do you do your bond web? Do you draw the noses on and iron a big sheet onto the fabric, or do you cut the bond web out first and then iron it onto the fabric? I draw the shape onto the backing paper of the bond web of the bond web and then press it on and then cut them out following the lines that's the way and if you're if you're sensible you get one of our Teflon uh, iron press iron uh, ironing sheets and then you get any you get any glue on the iron on the ironing board or anything like that they're available on the website and I have a pair of fabric scissors for absolute best and then I have a pair of general purpose. Of ones for when I'm cutting, because I leave the paper on the back. Yeah, so it's yeah. going through fabric, but it is going through a bit of paper as well. I've never seen you use scissors for best. I've only seen you use rotary cutters. Oh, no, I have. <laughs> I always have. I even have a pen for best. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> you've, got, <laughs> you've got to have a system. Yes. Or maybe you don't. Anyway, go on. So now the eye shape's all the same, or have you got different eye shapes in the, in the template? It's the, it's the same template, but you need to cut half out one way and then turn it over for the other half so that you have mirror image yeah. eye patches. Otherwise, it would look a bit... Like a ghost. A bit like a ghost, yeah. That's what Hayley looks like in the morning. Hayley won't be at Het Festival of Quilts, so you can't see her in abuse. Oh, I'll tell you who's there today. Producer Hannah's there today. So I'll peel oh, the back. Oh, on the little hearts of the nose. The little hearts of the nose, yeah. Oh. So I'll peel the back in. Does it matter off. where they go? Have you got placements or can you put them wherever you want? You can put them wherever you want, just do it by eye. But I generally have the eye patches so they just meet at the top. You can see the seam allowance inside. What, the seam allowance? The seam allowance is about five eighths around that curve. You see, what I'd be tempted to do is, is there's a post, there's a post up, there's a close up picture in the instructions of the face, so you can actually see where they have to go on, on there, can't you? It's beautiful. I love it, because each of them have got different faces. Each of them, the, the individuality of each of them. You want to make sure there's some room here, because this will be underneath. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The clams. Yeah. So about the top of the... And you've got to leave room for the mouth as well, if you're going to put mouths you on do. them as well. A little grin. Or a yawn or something. Um, we'll do the laying out in a minute. Because what I'll do is when we've done the faces, we'll then go through the bundles and then I'll ask Jo how she would do the... Because Hayley's got a distinct idea of how she would want to do the colours. Not, not so much the, um, 
charm packs because they're just random. But with these, you've got five different colours. So, um, but let's carry on with the Should face. I go and press this face on. Oh, sorry. Now, don't get bond web on my iron. I won't. Okay. Oh, there's a stock warning for the Joel Jubri one. Should put the graphics in and we'll see what happens. Well, I was just gonna, I don't know what I was gonna do then. I was gonna do something then. It's freezing now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you not cold? Tom, Tom, no, no, Tom, Tom the cameraman's just in a little t-shirt. It's kind of buff like that, if you can see Tom the cameraman. Anyway, <laughs> uh, is Jay coming to sort it or are you gonna do it? You, you stay on cameras, Jay can sort it. Jay! Right, once Sarah, Anne and Vicky have checked out... Oh, look, we're naming the checking out people today. Right, the three of you have got them in your basket and there's only three left. If you all check out, the Joel Juby one will have sold out. Joel Juby one... I'll go through them in a minute. So, carry on, have you done the face? I'm doing the ears now. OK, brilliant. Um, you need to cut out 28 of these Pairs. ear pieces because it's four per panda, because right size together. Yeah. Right sides together and just stitch around the quarter inch, six millimetre seam allowance. OK. Now, you've edge. still got white thread on your machine I here. Have. Would you use black in I, real life? I would use black yeah. thread. I'll stick with the white, so... Yes. Well, we're halfway through the hour so, and we haven't even made oh. a blooming panda yet. It's best not to rush. Though. No. no. <laughs> I will pick up the pace a bit. <laughs> Uh, say that again. Oh, uh, oh no, I've still got Anita's there. Beverly. Oh, now, a Sizzix. Remember the Sizzix machine I had the other day? I, I forgot to go and see Anne yesterday at the festival because they do a four and a half inch unfinished clamshell die. So if you have like, one of those, you just cut them all out. Are they four and a half inches? I don't know. I'd have to measure them. They might be, actually. Oh, they are. Ooh. They are four and a half inches across. Uh, Debbie, I've nearly finished my panda quilt, but terrified of trimming and binding it. When trimming, do I leave a margin of a quarter of an inch from the edge of, and then I left it? Will we get? To, will, can we? Will we make sure we get to the trimming and binding yes. later on? Because it is uh, quite scary. Phase, Debbie, keep actually. watching. Keep watching, Debbie, and we'll let. What oh, to apologise? Uh, we'll um, we'll we'll do we'll definitely do tr trimming and binding, even if we don't get past this stage. When I'm sewing small curves like this, I do a few stitches and then pivot the fabric with the needle down. So keep the needle through and just adjust. Just do a couple of stitches at a time because it is a small curve and it's quite yeah. tight. Just click V-shaped notches so it turns a bit better. What speed ways? No, it just takes... <laughs> Our speed... Oh, oh, I've What's the matter? I was trying to do that quickly then yes. I made a mess of the yeah. last one. It's very early. Sorry. And it's a weekend. It's a weekend, and it's early, and you know you've got to go to Festival of Quilts this afternoon. You'll have a brilliant time. I had a fantastic time yesterday. I love Festival of Quilts. I didn't go last year, and I really missed it. Yeah, you know, she's, uh, uh, she's on our stall. Uh, no, not stall, our stand, uh, which is huge. You can sit down. There's lots of seats. Except I'm, I'm... they were all filled yesterday with people doing the hexes. But it's great fun. It's really, really lovely. And your pictures, there's a, you've got photos to sign and everything there. <laughs> yeah? And it's a picture with your hair. Down. Well, actually, you've got your hair down today. And I was like, who's that on that one there? And it was you. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> and there's a place to have your picture taken as well and everything. I'm delighted it's next to a cafe, though. That's my... You, oh, you're next to two cafes, a cheap one and a posh one. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> I, was, I was at the posh one because the cheap one didn't have soy milk, that's all. Right. Anyway, carry on. So... How many? Seven times. Fourteen ears. When yeah. they're done, are keep they, a stack are of they, plans. Are they? Are they? Um, do you have to put old? You can put. You can, it doesn't matter. A right and a left. They're all the same. They're all they? the same. Okay. It's you don't have to turn the pat pattern, the template yeah, okay. over because it's symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. So that's. Okay. So what's the next stage after that? The next stage is assembling things on right. the back. Before you fabric. start assembling, I'll let you get ready. We won't do anything. No, John, I won my first quilt <gasps> category. Oh, you made one, Anita. Oh, brilliant. I thought you'd won one. Well, that's fine. Because if you go around, the, the, all the quilts, they've all got highly commended winner. There's so many quilts. You, you'll be there for hours. And some of them are just, well, incredible, like your work. Don't do anything, don't do anything, and I'll come back to you in a minute. <sighs> right, OK. Oh, I've forgotten that. <laughs> it's freezing in here, Jay. What temperature is it on now? Just switch it off for a little while, and then we can get it on again. Right. 
K facet first. So what it is, you get the K facet sun, oh, we've got the still, we've got the still. We've got the K facet sunshine uh, fa um, charm pack. You get the black and the white thread, you get the uh, pen, you get the a meter of the white fabric, a meter of the hair and linear, half a meter of the black fabric for the ears and the face, the wadding, the bond web, and the instructions. 56 pounds and nine, have I got this, oh, it's, have I got them open? Oh, oh. I can't open this one. And normally we have one open that Jay would bring in, but. Right, very quickly, I'm going to go through this because we've got Joe's got loads. So these fabrics are just exquisite. These are just beautiful. Th I mean, look, you've seen it a few times, this one. It's just, or you get two of that one. Flowers, spots, I mean, just gorgeous. There's the birds, I adore the birds. Then you've got the Can Can Ladies, the, that's Little Paul's favourite coming up. Oh, that's the birds still. Oh, I can see the Can Can Ladies there. They're beautiful. They're all reds and bright colours for summer in this one. So you're going to get a reddy, pinky, tropical look with this one. I know, it's hard to imagine what this looks like with that. But it, well, you're going to have lots left over, actually, because how did we say there were 38? And there's four, the four... Oh, and yeah, you've got to have a couple left over, haven't you? Um, but beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Oops. Um, this is selling very, very quickly as well, just so you know. Um, now, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. I'm only telling you... Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Um, I'm not only telling you you're good, I'm not adding any undue pressure, I just don't, I hate it when people miss out, that's all. So you have all those beautiful, oh look at that one, beautiful sunshine colours there in the cave, and everything else, £56.95. Now, the next one is the Joel Jubri, but it, just check if those ladies have checked out their baskets. I think that's it, I think that's it. Oh, look. Um, I'm just waiting for it to see. Are there any left? Right, uh, two of the ladies have checked out, so there's one left. There's one left now. Oh, no, right, can I just explain, right? Five people have got it in the baskets, so there's one left. So four of you are going to get disappointed. So check out straight away if you definitely want that one. I've moved it off the table then. And then last but not least is this new one we've done for you today, uh, which isn't using charm packs. It's using half a metre of each of the spots on fabrics you get. Half a metre of the red, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the kiwi, half a metre of the teal, half a metre of the bright yellow. Then you also get the, the linear print there, and one metre, half a metre of the black and a metre of the white. And then all the instructions, everything else that you see there on the kit, you get all of that. All of that for £63.95. Right. So now this is the... Because this is important, this bit, isn't it? The, it the is. laying out. It's not just randomly put down. The key to keep everything on track with clamshells because it's very, if one row is slightly out, it will then affect the rest of the, the placement. Oh, it'll look like they're all sliding off rather than just sitting it there. It would. Yeah. So with this, because we have some blank space at the top of the quilt. Yes. The, I think it's 22 inches by 27 inches. It's all in the instructions. It is, it's all in there. And then the trusted water erasable pen. I've marked a line five inches down from the top. Right. So I'm going to use this to, as a placement line, but also I've marked the centre just as an extra help. I'm going to use the ruler throughout, and it's really important to use a ruler throughout to yeah. make sure that they're on track, but also marking on the background. Also, if you, when you're using the linear print, it is a print and it's a random print. So don't think, oh, I'll use the lines on the pattern. Don't do that because the lines aren't straight. The lines aren't straight on there. Uh, the ruler's £31.95, as you can see there. Rachel, the ruler. I wonder if she's at, I wonder if she's at um, Festival of Quilts. I'm hoping I'll get a chance to have a quick... Oh, you'll be able to go around and get it, that's fine. Right, anyway, okay. you've got to finish this first, though. OK. And then... Yeah. I might have to come back as well in an hour. Yeah. Um, when placing the clamps, fold in half just to finger press the centre, just as an, another helpful guide. Yeah. And the panda goes there, doesn't it? Yes. It's a quick check behind me. <laughs> now, this is what Hayley wants to know. With, with the um, 
Joel Dubry and with the cave, you've got all the different patterns. You can just put them anywhere and, and place, so you kind of could place them out so you know where they're going to go so you don't get two the same together. Also, you've got to remember that some will be going into the seam line, so you'll be losing yes. half of some of them. But with the spots, how would you place the spots? This is what, um, uh, Hayley's got a distinct idea of what she would do. I don't know. I, I would... Before I stitched anything on, actually, I'd lay them out. Right. That's also the benefit of doing them all in one go. Yes. You can just play around because you'd have them entirely random. You see, which is what I would do. I think I would go... But, random. Hayley, can I just go back to this one here? You see how they're in diagonals here? And you see with... Part oh, yeah, I need to point on the actual thing. Move out of the way. Oh, you're not in the oh, way. Oh, me, me, sorry. No, no. me. <laughs> You see, out. you see how the lines go in <laughs> diagonals. So Haley would do a red line, a yellow line, a blue line, a green line. She would keep. She would be more sort of a rainbow. A rainbow th going through it. Whereas I'd just be the same as you and just be random, but place them out. But the choice is yours. There you see on the still. You can see on the still there how they're in diagonals. So I, to give an idea, this will be the random sort of layout. But then, where's your next pan? Oh no, you haven't got a panda for a while. Not that one there, I don't No, want you don't want that one next together. to it there. So just that's an idea of a random that's layout. That's right there. I find... There you go. Oh, no. Anyway, well, that, that's, you see, you'll have 38 of them to play with, though, won't you, with, when you're doing your own? There's another panda going in it. Oh, no, there is a... There's a panda somewhere in there, yeah. The next one's yeah. over here, isn't it? Okay. So you could do it like that. Oh, shall we lay them out? Yes. I've only got two of each for these, so... Oh, yeah, Haley's way. Should I do it in the proper rainbow? Red, orange, yellow. Doesn't go like that, does it? I'll just lay them out here so we get them. Oh, no. No. Oh, I, I'm useless. <laughs> Red, yellow. It's a bit difficult to do with just two of each, though, isn't it? It is. I didn't have time, unfortunately, to cut. There we go. It's yeah. straight off the side, but we get yeah. the idea. And then the blue one would be on that side. Oh. So that's... Oh, you say, Hayley, it might work. The pandas would really pop out of that. Yes, well. they would, wouldn't they? Anyway, the choice like is that. yours. The choice is yours completely, because you could do... Um, you know what I mean, as in, so then that green one would, you know what I mean, as in, like that, like that, and then that would go there, like that. Do you know what I mean, like as in, yeah. you could do whatever you wanted, really, couldn't you? Right, let's carry on, let's carry on, because we've got to get to the binding and everything. But, um... Just seeing if you could curve them at all, I don't think that's... Oh, good. now you're getting, oh, you could. Could you curve them? Uh, no. Oh, it's not quite a trick. No, it's not quite, is it? Or you could, could you do it? No. Hayley said you could do pyramids, mm, sort of. Right, anyway, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. So you start off, but you've drawn this line down the centre of the fabric, you've drawn this one five inches down from the top, and your first one goes with the top and the edges touching the line. Yes, and we're not looking at the very bottom, it's just... Oh, because it's going to be over. The seam allowance. Yeah. Oh. But we can adjust all these, I'll place these on. Oh, I've not brought pins. Oh, Jay! Sorry, Jay. So this is where we need to have a dashery basket on the set the whole time, don't we? You see there? Pins, we haven't got any pins. And the ears are just tucked behind with the same sort of five-eighths seam allowance just to make sure they're, they're well secured. And I'll just check. Just bring them in, Jay. You can go now. Thank you. Thank you. We'll line that up and they look even. And we, the finger, the seam, I finger press the centre and just making sure that they line up with the vertical lines as right. well. So they look quite good. So I'll pin those in place. I'll pin this and then. So, are you pinning the ear and the and have you gone through the seam allowance on that bit there as well, of the of the ear 
Or is that one just holding the face down? This one's just holding the face yeah. down. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to avoid these. The black. The, yes. So now just stitch close to the edge all the way around this curve. And I start down here, backwards and forwards, and I just go around the edge. Down to the you bottom. start off the edge or do you start on the edge? I start, we can start on the edge. I start slightly off because it's, it'll be covered up. Yeah. And here as well, it doesn't matter what happens with your stitching around here. If you reposition, get it into the right place to go around there. But you have to change, you'd have to well. change your colour because you'd do this one in blue, would you? And then that one in white. I do it all in one colour. Oh, okay, okay. Especially with the printed ones, I think I've done white yes, or off white yes. for all. Yeah, exactly. I think it's white so that it looks good. Oh, yeah, because your spots are all white anyway, so you could just do the white or off white for all of those. So, should I stitch around? Yep, please do. Put these ones in. Not too doing the rainbow one, well done. But we've got, oh look, we've got pictures to show you that Hayley's just found. We'll do get those ready and we'll show you them and we'll stitch this. I'll just move that fabric around. Not the speed down. You're all right then. I've not been on this machine in a while. I should have had a little practice before. Yes, just sort of sitting with your feet up, <laughs> drinking your tea, doing your makeup. Don't give away everything. Well, if the truth be known, you should stuck on the M6 and then the exit was closed on the motorway. <laughs> Keeps so, me on my toes. Oh, I know, but it's horrible, isn't it, sitting in traffic when you've got a deadline of somewhere to be? Yeah, and then seeing that the junction was closed, and my, my skills at finding my way anywhere. Have you not got to sat now? I have, but it sort of tells me to do a U-turn for a while. Oh, so I have to make no. sure I get the first bit right. Yes. That's an old one, then. It is an old one. Mind you, I've got, I bought a new one because my old one died on me. And yesterday, I go to the NEC, it just suddenly blocked. And it just started saying all sorts. Oh, and also, I think Little Paul gave me the wrong postcode. Because <laughs> I, I put the car one on to, to save me. And then um, I got to the NEC and I could see all these great big signs saying, NEC, NEC, goes to the left. And my sat nav was saying, turn right, get to the round, right, take the fifth exit. And I'm like, no, it's the first exit. So I know I switched. No, I think he looked at the wrong... I don't know where he was sending me. He's obviously been somewhere dodgy around near the NEC. Shouldn't say that, because his mum will be watching Barbara. And I'm meeting her tomorrow. She said, oh, you'll meet her tomorrow as well. She's coming tomorrow. I think little Paul's terrified about what we're going to say to her. <laughs> I nearly do. Managed to send eye patches all over the floor. We've got ten minutes. There we go. So they're the first two right. in place. And then it's just solid colours, isn't it? The next row. Yeah, the next row is three solid colours or three not non-pandas. I go for a yellow one there, do you think? So I'll finger press them in half again. So I know where the centre at the top is. And that has to line up with the centre of that. So I'll position that on. So the finger press centre lines up with where these two join. Two join. But it's worth especially higher up if if the row looks out of sync. Keep double checking. I would, I would advise unpicking it and starting again because it will have an impact further on. Got okay, we've got four images to show you while Joe's placing those. Got four images to show you of people's um, quilts that they've already made. The I don't know why I shouted that, but quilts. Why well, people have made panda quilts? Oh look, <gasps> that looks fab. Karen. Oh, hang on. Who? Kirsten's. That one is. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Oh look. Who's that one? Ismet. Oh, Isme. That's pretty as well. I like that one. Oh! Is that Eileen? But uh, now Eileen's taking it one step beyond, doesn't she? Isn't that more? That's that, more. That's definitely more. I love how different they all look. Yes. They look like, um, uh, do I mean a wombat? 
Do you know what I mean? The one on the right-hand side. I love it. I'm not, I'm not criticising it at all, Eileen, but the one on the right-hand side, that coming down the right-hand side, looks like a wombat to me. Anyway, oh, oh, look. Oh, now there's yes. the rainbow colours, look. Because you could do that as well. You oh, could hang on, the hang red on. Sorry. The last one was Dorothy. Sorry, it's Hayley produced. Last one was Dorothy. This, and this one's Jill. This one's Jill's. Oh, they're happy pandas. What were you saying, Joe? Sorry. Uh, it's grouped to the red one. That's sort of in a rainbow. I love that formation. So it starts with the reds and the oranges and the yellows. But you could do that with this. Yes, uh, yes, ones. definitely. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Right, we've got to get on because we need to get to um, the binding for the... Um, who was it earlier? Um, was it... Uh, I won't say Beverly, but it wasn't Beverly, was it? So I'll check that these... So I want to check that they're all the same. Make sure the Debbie. All the same height. So this one's a little bit too high. Yeah. This one's a little bit too low. So I'd readjust. And yet to the eye, they look right, don't they? So it's only checking with the ruler. It is really important to check with the ruler, just to make sure they're... Well, they're, they're, it's where they yeah, match here, you see. They, they match as you don't measure how far apart they are because they touch each other a quarter of an inch up from the bottom here. But you need to get the center of that one running between the two of those there. So I'm checking they're the same height. And the and same as well, height as well, yeah. That the finger pressed center matches the, is parallel to the vertical yes. lines. Okay, so then just pin these in place again and then stitch over the around the top, around the curves at the top. Thanks. My question was, do we trim a quarter of an inch from the edge of the scallop before binding? But I'll keep watching, says Debbie. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute for you, Debbie, I promise. And then Sue says, great show, keep up the good work. Oh, West Yorkshire, I love West Yorkshire. Thank you, Sue, my love. The fi Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> the fifth exit takes you closer to the disabled parking area. Little Paul was right. Well, I'm not allowed to go in the disabled parking area. Oh, but you can't go to the fifth because it took you... Oh, all right then. I'll take that back. Oh, we'll keep Debbie, yeah. Is Debbie a friend of Little Paul's, do you think? Or is it Little Paul? <laughs> right, OK. So then I'd stitch yes. around those. But should I move on? Yes, because we need... So, so basically, you just carry on putting them all on and stitching them until you've done the whole of this that section at the bottom. Yes, keep on but, track where the pandas are going but, to be. But some will be like this, won't they? Some will be will. coming off the edge like that. So, you're, so if you're using one of the caves or one of the uh, Joel Jubris, just be aware of where you put them, because you don't want to put your favourite one here, because if then, then, then you cut off and you're going to have only that much. Like, I'll, I'll show you on here. You see here, like on some of them, you only see a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know if we can get in on close enough. See there, you only get a tiny bit of that one and that one. So don't put your favourites on the edge there because you are going to lose half of it there. Right. So, if, so you've done all of that. What would be the next stage to do if you've, if you've put them all out on your... So they're all on. And yeah. Unless you've got that. something to say before that. No, but there, are, there will be ones that yes, overlap yeah. here and there. And you have to, yes, you have to start at the top and work down You can't because they overlap that way. Otherwise, they'd be over, you'd see all that. If you did them the other way... You'd see the raw edges over the top of them, you know what I mean? So you've got to start at the top. Right. And then once that's all done, all the clamshells are fixed in place, then we're using black thread, I've gone round the eye patches just to make sure they're really firmly held in place. Did you zigzag them or straight stitch them? Straight stitch. I just straight stitched around twice, around the nose. And it's small and it's a bit fiddly, but if you use black thread, it's not visible yeah. at all. So it doesn't have to be perfect stitching, but that just secures... The eyes and the nose. So I did all the eyes and nose and then embroidered the, before any batting or anything else was involved, I then drew on with the little, so I drew on with this, drew on a little smile oh. and some eyes. Yes. So you and embroider then, those on with the thread, the embroidery thread that's in the kit. You embroider the eyes with the white, using the white. And then there's pink as well. So you've got pink, white and... Um, the pink, there's one of them, it's sticking its tongue out. Oh, okay. So That's you've what got the pink, the pink so you can do Okay. Now, we've only got three minutes, so can we answer Debbie's question yes. about when you've made your quilt? So she's got this far, and she doesn't know, she's worried about trimming it, basically. 
So once you've got to this point, you want to make the quilt sandwich and quilt it all up. So that's before you get to trimming, quilt it up. I used, I echoed this shape and I used my template and drew around it. So oh, lines okay. So, so once you've got all of your clamshells and your pandas all in place, you've done the eyes, you've done the face, you've then got to think about the... So then you've made your sandwich, so you put your batting in and you put your backing fabric down. Yes. Then to do the scallop, all the scallops here, you've used that I've template, used my template to and my draw water erasable them pen, drawn them on. And also I've quilted over the top, whereas I've stitched inside the clamshell here, I've gone over the top to quilt it. So I've got, if you turn it over, it's the clamshell pattern in quilting... Oh, all the way, all on, ev all on everything. You yes. haven't got spaces where they are. Right, okay, brilliant. And then when you come to trim it up, yes. don't take it all off in one go. I take some off and then think, I would sit, look at the, I'm not explaining myself. I didn't well. understand I'll, that I'll work. at all. Right, I'll try yes. and arrange those sentences, uh, those words so they make sense. These form the edge, these ones, not the ones that overlap. You want to look at where they finish. Yes. And you want that to be where your binding starts. Right. So you need to measure from there the width you want for your binding. And I would leave more than a quarter of an inch, actually. I tend to do three-eighths. No, I've been taking five-eighths. I'm like, you see my answer here is three-eighths. Yes. So I'd leave three-eighths and trim it up with that, just to leave that bit more. And you could test your binding against it. And if you think you need to take a bit more off, trim a bit more. And then your binding is just a straight... It's straight binding that you've stitched on there and then you turn it over and did you machine stitch underneath or did you hand whip it underneath? I always hand whip it, but with that I did machine bind it because I was in a rush. Right. But I like, because I like to sit down Using with the some, fabric from the kit. Yes, and at the bottom, again, you're going to cut, trim it up and you can use the bottom, I'll use this one, you can use this. Yes. As your guide because you want that seam allowance you want your binding to cover over that, so you can yes. use these bottom edges to trim. OK, thank you very much. You've run out of time. Uh, Joe will be back in an hour. Uh, join me next, because I've got... Is it Fat Quarters next? Fat Quarters, go nowhere. See you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a hem stitch. Now a hem stitch is just a row of small slanting stitches that are used to secure your hem. So in this case I'm pretending that this is going to be the bottom of a trouser leg. I'm first going to take my needle through the single hem. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail before I place that back down. So then I'm going to do a double stitch. Now this is just where you sew over the same area twice so you're creating a a knot. So that's one, two. So that's securing my thread now. And now we can begin doing our hem stitch. So you're going to need to bring your needle in at a diagonal. So you want to pick up a few stitches from what would be the trouser leg before then going into your hem. So you can make this stitch a little bit bigger. And then repeating that process again at a diagonal. I'm going to be picking up a few stitches of the trouser leg. And then we can pick up more of the single hem. So I'm making these stitches super big so you can see what I'm doing. But when you do this at home, you'd want to make these a little bit closer together. There's my row of hem stitching, and if I just turn this over, you can see they're very small stitches on the other side. So if you're doing this in a normal thread and not a thick thread, you won't be able to see those at all. On Monday the 14th of August, we're getting a very special visit from dressmaking dab hand, Paul Clark. Paul impressed the nation with his sewing skills when he appeared as a contestant on the Great British Sewing Bee. Whether he's making everyday clothing or theatrical costumes, Paul's technical wizardry and love of colour shine through in his work. 
Paul joins us to make a chef's apron as featured in the fabulous Great British Sewing Bee book, as well as the perfect pair of Capri trousers. And with 30 years of experience behind him, Paul will offer plenty of helpful tips and sewing secrets along the way. So join us for dressmaking with Paul Clark on Monday the 14th of August at 9am and 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Fat quarters, I know. Uh, I've got an hour of fat quarters now, uh, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through them very quickly, and then we'll go through them properly and, and look at all the fabrics and everything like that, because I've got some books to go with as well. And we didn't really discuss the iron. I want to tell you about the iron from the last hour, and I've got a bag to put them in as well. Um, now, if you missed yesterday, if you missed yesterday, uh, we had Anna Maria Horner on with us with fabrics and with fat quarters. I've got th very limited, very, very limited. I've got three uh, Anna Maria Horner fat quarters available, three different designs, but very, very, very limited in stock. Do you want to see those first or do you want to see the other ones first? We'll see those first. We'll see those first. Right. I'll just show them. Our Anna Marie's have got five fabrics in each one. This one's called Blue, I think. Oh, is it teal? Was it teal? Teal? I just thought this one, I thought that one was just called Blue because this one's taken from, this one was taken from, um, uh, one of, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, that was taken from one of her granny's, um, great grandma's uh, knitted shawls and everything like that. Uh, this one was from, they're all from different ranges, you see. That one's from the um, uh, one where the little girl that wants to be brilliant, but she's not. Anyway, uh, moving on. Moving on. Doing quickly, quickly, and then we'll do wafter. Uh, Hayley Sims, oh, you're showing them. I'm just showing, showing them all because you want to have a look and then. Oh, there's only one of those left already. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. There's not just one of those left. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this one's called Midnight Rose, I seem to remember. This is lovely again. I love this one because that's like carnival, isn't it? This is based from a Dresden. That's nice, isn't it? That one's called Midnight Rose, five-piece fat quarter there, 17 pounds and 95 pence. Oh, there you go. Okay, we'll, get, we'll come back to them, I promise. We'll come back to them all and have a look at them all properly in a second. But that's, um, you see on the background of that one, it's black, but it's got blue and grey roses in it. And then last but not least is this one. This is pink floral. All the others sold out. All the others have sold out. These are just the only three available now. These are beautiful, aren't they? Look at those. Five pieces, pink floral. They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Uh, could be, now today could be your last chance to get those because we don't know. Anna Maria wasn't sure yesterday if and how and when we'd get her fabrics again. So um, I'd make that, I'm not, I'm not putting any undue pressure on you at all. And I'm not saying we'll never get again because I'm fighting to have more Anna Maria fabrics. Um, Oh, hello. I've lost everybody completely. Um, okay, let's have a look at this now. I'll just swap it for this one, shall I? Sorry about this, because should we look at, I'll put a fat quarter out that you can look at. I've lost c communication with everybody, so let me put a fat quarter out, and then I'll have a look at this. Now look at these. Have you seen our batiks in fat quarters before? I don't think so. So look. Look at that, you get seven of those. Seven of those. Oh no, I can see why. Sorry, my um, earpiece is broken, that's all. I'll be with you in a second.
Oh, chaos or what? Got them, got them, got that one's not working. Right, got you, got you, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Sorry. Oh dear, I do apologize. It's always me, isn't it? Right, we have got the Batik uh, Fat Quarter Bundle there. Never been, we've never, we've never done this before. Never done this before. 33 pounds and 95 pence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Uh, purple rain. Uh, oh, I've, I've, uh, uh, anyway, moving on. I'm supposed to be in a quickie now, aren't I? Quickie, quickie, quickie. So that's that one. Then we've got this one. Oh, sorry, you've seen stills now as well. Then we've got this one. Marine, this one. You get four in this one. You get the marina. You get the... Um, that is the marina town. They're the beach huts. They're the boats, and they're the fish. I didn't think they were from that range, but they've mixed and matched them all together to create. Okay, moving on. We'll do stills of these later. Yeah. Uh, then I've got this one, which is a kind of Scandi one with the stripes. The florals, the little birds. It's called Papillon, this one. Papillon. Really, really lovely, aren't they? 24 pounds and 95 pence for the six of those. Lovely. Then, I'm coming back, don't worry, I'm just whizzing through them so you can all have a good look at what we've got and then we'll, we'll have a real rummage through them all later. Then this one's nice, look at this one. Now you've got three of the same fabric in different colorways. And then you've got now, I, I can't remember if it's called Songbird or, uh, is it Songbird, that one? It's lovely, isn't it? I thought it was, we, we had a discussion, didn't we, whether it was called Songbird or Nightingale last time, but lovely greens. Very Laura Ashley-esque, that one. 16 pounds and 50 pence. Okay. Then we've got an Alison Glass one coming up now. This is nice. Look at the bright colours in here now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, that's not, that's right. Seven. This is seven one. Seven one. So we've got grape, we've got raisin, we've got raven. These, these, oh, hang on. Let me, let me do it the right way around. These fabrics, those three there, four there, are the same pattern, just in different colorways. So you've got the stars and the wasps and the bees and the spots. Then you've got this one, which I call the um, uh, Alice in Wonderland print. I'll show you them, I'll open them up in a minute. And then you've got that one there, which are the leaves and the doves for 28 pounds. They're lovely color range, isn't it? 28 pounds and 95 pence. Really, really lovely. Then, now, this one, uh, producer Hannah, she'd have a lot, lot to say about this um, fat quarter bundle, which I'm about to show you now. Floral splendor. Uh, is this one floral splendor? Okay. It's definitely got the blue crosses and the purple crosses in there. You've got the lovely little delicate ditzy. You've got the sticks. And then I called this one wickets, but I know it wasn't called wickets. It was called sticks and buttons and sticks and flowers, I think that one, wasn't it? Hayley's favourite, this. Moving on. We thought this one would be nice for, uh, or obviously it's only a fat quarter, you won't be able to do it, but like nighties and um, like hospital gowns and things like that would be nice in that one. Right, okay, and then this one. This one. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean a hospital gown, I meant a gown to wear in hospital when you go to hospital. Like a negligee kind of thing. Or um, lounge trousers. Now, this is, these fabrics are new, right? Newish, because um, Victoria Pete, do you remember Victoria Pete made those beautiful, should have got them out, really. There's a cushion with um, these fabrics with, um, um, what's it called? Reverse applique. And then we also had, she also made this really beautiful um, 
hexi uh, wreath out of these as well. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Twelve. You get in there. You don't get one, two, twelve. It's twelve pieces. It's pack one with twelve pieces. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, oh no, we have had these in fat quarters before. But not this today. We've created this one today. But you have seen these fabrics. We've, yeah, we've had this. Yeah, so this is a premiere today. We have had this one before. We have had this one before. Yeah. Yeah, because we had, actually, we had, um, it's funny, it's really the other colorway here then. Yes. Because we had two colourways, I remember. Remember we did it with Victoria Pete and um, Lucy. Maybe the other one sold out. I know they were very, very popular. Right? Then I've got two. Now, these staple, staple pieces. We've got um, Iris and Rose. Oh, which one do you want first? Do the Iris first? This one's called Iris. Great value. Wait to see the price. $9.95. We've got, oh, excuse me, my voice is going. We've got a quilt as you go made out of these that Lucy made. £9.95. We'll get that for you and show you in a second. Okay, and then this one is Rose. I like to call the, well, you'll, well I'll go through them all in a minute with you. Lovely colours. And wait to see the price. Fantastic value. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Okay. Now I've got three books to show you. We love a good book. This is uh, Fat Quarter Small Fabrics, more than fifty big ideas. We've made lots and lots out of this book, and it's one of our most popular, popular, popular books, this one. £17.95. It goes through sections, so that's babies. I love that one. No, no, we haven't made that one yet. That caterpillar actually comes out of the apple. It's like a little soft toy that comes out of the apple. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Imagine you're getting 50 ideas. Somebody's had to come up with those ideas. Someone's had to come up with those ideas. Oh, look, now we've made that. Lucy made that. That's on the shelf outside. Lucy's made that one. Beautiful, isn't it? We've made so many of these. I'll show you some of them in a, in a, in a while when I've gone through all the books. Just lots and lots. See that? Look, that's the inspiration for our wall. Ours is a tr they've done a tree. We've done a puddle. Haven't we a multicolored puddle? You know the bit there. Look. Oh, that red, the red spot strobing a little bit there, isn't it? Um, just brilliant, 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 brilliant. I'll go through the book more thoroughly with you in a second. Uh, then we've got this one here traditional fat quarter quilts. It's a lovely book. Now, this is very, very, what, like it says on the cover, it, traditional quilts. Really, really lovely. You imagine, well, I was going to say, if you go to the Festival of Quilts, and there are hundreds and hundreds of quilts just hanging. There. You imagine these to be like wall hangings almost, don't you? But traditional colours. Could use any of our fat quarters, really, to do any of these. Look. But you see what I mean about the um, traditional um, styles. But look at the information. Every bit of information you need there. <coughs> Excuse me. The layout. Lovely, isn't it? Right. Next, fun with fat quarters. Just bring the rail in, Jay. Just bring the rail in. Just bring the rail. Just bring the rail. This one, oh, moved on, sorry. This is not traditional fat quarters anymore. 
Yeah, that's you, Haley. <laughs> I tell him to bring the whole rail. Don't let Jay pick them up. Just bring the whole rail. Fun with fat quarters. Wendy Gardner book. It's lovely. It's on lots and lots of projects in this one. Now, we've done a few of these projects from here as well. Let's just flick through it. All the things you're going to need before you even start. All about seams and patchworking and... Oh, now, look, that's like... Remember I showed you Haley's the other day? Her little hen house. That's the kind of quilt... You, that's the kind of patchwork you did for it, wasn't it? Like this. And she made a little... Um, birdhouse out of it. And then we had somebody else do one like that. Not quite as um, ornate as that one. And then mine was like this. Mine was a... Um, Kaleidoscope log cabin. That one's like little Paul's, except his was a bit more colourful. We haven't got one like Jay's here yet. You'll never get one like Jay's, no, because it's very, uh, Jay's block is very um, universal. You can see it as a letter or a number. Is it the right size? I think it's the right size. Oh, what's Joe lost? Right, projects, here we go. Fabulous flowers. Joy would like those, wouldn't she? I saw Joy yesterday. Drawstring bags. Quilted cosmetic bags. They're nice, aren't they? Doorstop. We've got that doorstop. Uh, lovely little party clutch bag there. Pin it. I mean, the fantastic press. Oh, we've got that. We've got that. We've got that one made out of cake. In fact, we've got that one made out of quite a few fabrics. Uh, Joy did one like that. I think hers was inspired by that one. Uh, we've got that cushion. Obviously, very, very popular. But you know what? For 10 95 you can go to a supermarket and buy a bunch of flowers for 10 95 like a posh bunch of flowers for 10 95 can't you? By the end of the week, it's gone. Sometimes quicker than that. This is going to last forever, isn't it, really? Absolutely last forever. Right, now, Hilda has messaged in. I'll show you the iron in a minute, right? And she's bought this fat quarter pack. That's right, isn't it? The Anna Maria fat quarter pack. Midnight Rose, right? And she wants to know what solids would look nice with it. Well, I'm going to do something now that we haven't really done before. Normally, we send Jay off and say, find a sage green or find a this or find a that, right? And poor old Jay's like, what's sage green? So what I'm going to do is I've actually got a rail. Now, they're not ironed, they're not ready because I've just thrown this at them, right? But Hilda wants to know what solids would look nice with this. So if you have a quick look at that, I'll just get the solids. Oh. I've just knocked the camera, but there you go. It'll be right. right. I'm here with some pinks. Let me get some pinks. Some, I bet Vienna orange would look nice with that. Oh, what am I going to show you? It's not got wheels on it. I'll show you. This is how we keep it in the store. Now, this is a very ad hoc. This is not what wasn't supposed to happen. But this is how we keep all our solids right. And I've suggested that we have all of these available on the set. So in cases like this, when... Um, was it Edith or Edna, do you say? Oh, Hilda, Hilda, sorry, Hilda, um, said, oh, what would go with it? So I'm just going to go through very quickly. They're all available on our website, but it, there, there you go. This is Vienna Orange. Yeah, this is Vienna Orange, this one. Oh, can you see that one there? Um, I'm looking for a nice pink in there. With this... You see, I'm just looking for juxtapositions because you know what? They're not in any order, these things. I've just, I've just thrown this one at them. There, that'd be nice. That one would be nice. I'll just tell you the number on that one. Oh, I need my glasses. This is that makeshift telly, isn't it? Uh, QBMY51. That's magenta. So I've got magenta and Vienna orange so far. And the, they're three pounds and 25 pence for half a metre. Let's just look at that one with that. Ooh, that one's nice with, the, with that one and that one, look. I think this is fuchsia, but I'll just double check. Uh, K-A-M-Y-48. That's nice. I hope this is, uh, this is good for you, um, Hilda, my love. I'm looking for the greens, some greens in there now. Yeah, is that fuchsia, that one, then? Yeah, fuchsia, there we go. Um, and then, let me try and find a... I don't know if I'd put a green with it, actually, maybe. Uh, 
No, pistachio would be too, pistachio's too um, lime, I think. You need a kind of, um, that's ochre. That's ochre. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't use ochre. No, I wouldn't use ochre. They're all, yeah, I think you need, a, you need a kind of olivey green, which I know we had an issue with the other day. There's my greens in there. You see, these are all going to be too bright, I think. No, that one's too bright. I don't think, but I hope, I hope this gives you some, um, some idea. I'll tell you what, I'll leave my rack there, Hilda. And if you see something you like, just let me know and I'll find it for you. And get, oh, Hilda, I'll leave my rack there. And if you think, oh, there's something along there I quite like the look of, just let me know. Right, so that was the uh, Anna Maria Horner fat quarter there. Very, very limited though. Very, very, very limited. We've only got those because we're, we're, all the others sold out from yesterday and we just thought we'd bring those into the fat quarter show. Oh, uh, which Paul? Uh, Paul from North Yorkshire says, can I have the whole rail, please, John? You can. It's all available on the website. When what? When are we going to see the... I don't know. Because Liz, who's in charge of the finished quilt, uh, for our, all, of our, all of our blocks, right? She's going, away on our, she's going away on her holidays tomorrow. I don't know if she's watching today. No, she, I don't think she's taking the machine away with her, is she? They, they're going in the... In a lodge, they're staying in a lodge. To you and me, that's a caravan, posh caravan. Right, let's go through this one. Let's go through this. This is pinks, right? These are the pink ones from the Anna Maria Horner range. And these are just exquisite, aren't they? A lot of hers are taken from um, memories. Um, she's from a Greek background, and they're taken from, uh, she found a chest of hankies from through the ages that she took some of the patterns from. Uh, if you, the, the fabric, the um, overachiever fabric, I went, oh, this would be a lovely 40s. And she went, that's from a 40s um, hanky that we found. These are just beautiful. Now, look at this. This one here, you'll see this range, this pattern a lot, but in different, different colours. She's used that one an awful lot. The, but I love this one. This is the one I love. I think it's called Hand Tied, that one. I think she said that one was called Hand Tied, that one. Little bunch of flat, little bunch of flat. Look at those together. £17.95. Oh, here we go. We're on the move. Aren't they lovely? Really gorgeous. So you get a fat quarter of each of these at £17.95. Oh, that's, I'll take that one out. Then you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous pinks going on there. Yeah, a lot of you might have been at Festival Quilts, not seen. Uh, if you haven't seen the show, go onto YouTube and watch it, because all you have to do is put in Search Sewing Quarter and then Yesterday's Date, and you'll be able to watch all of yesterday's shows. And, of course, Kay from the day before with Natasha. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, now that you're rushing in for this, please be careful. What you need to do is, if you, if you um, do like these, please check out straight away, because, yeah, they're about to be sold out. Okay, take that one out. There's too many of you there for that one. Right, I'll just show you the last one of this range then. And then, um, there we go. Hold it up nice and neatly. So I'll put that in my trolley. Teal birds, this one's called. Now this one was called, um, oh, what was it? The, the, the story behind this one is, um, Anna Maria did a whole range of, it's called Honor Roll, and she did a whole range of, it was like, when she was at school, she wanted to be liked, she wanted to be good. The reason that one was called Hand-Tied Little Posy was because she used to take, she used to pick, pick the flowers out of her mum's garden and take them to the teachers that she'd been naughty with or the teachers that shouted at her. This one is like, it was based around a gingham, but it wasn't, it's not a full-on gingham because she was just being a little bit, you know, kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not naughty, but... Um, uh, not completely running by the rules, as it were. Then there's this one. Now, next year, the, the range that she's bringing out next year, that's got a lot of birds on it, because she showed us the, um, the drawings for it yesterday, didn't she? So this one's when, when, now, I don't know if this one was when she was, when she was in Australia, or this one was from, no, no, this was from before she went to Australia. Then this one here was taken from one of her, um, it was called, it's called Diamonds, this one. It's called Diamonds, that one. Then this one's just gorgeous because it's just the um, lovely hearts. And then this one here, now was it called something like 
lean to or something like that because it kind of each one leans into each other. See, I was listening. See how they weave into each other. That's taken from an old, one of her granny's old cardigans with the knitwear, the crochet, all interweaving to each other. Isn't it lovely? Really, we love the black background. It's very, very striking, isn't it? Very, very striking. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. Don't want anyone to miss out. Three left. There's three left of those. They'll sell out. They'll go. They'll go. Make sure you check out your baskets. Right. I'll go back to the others. I've got loads to show you. Sorry. I go, oh, I thought the Alison Glass would be popular. Now I've got things made out of the Alison Glass to show you, haven't I? Hang on a sec. Did you find the um, ones made out of this, Jay? The Victoria Peak cushion and the, the white quilt with the quilting on it. Right, I'll put both. How's that one doing? The Midnight Rose. Right, OK, let's put this over here. So we, uh, the two most popular so far are the Alison Glass and the Marina. Oh, Midnight Rose is still available. I'll get that out. Okay, I'll get that out. Sorry. Alison Glass first. So, Alison Glass is the bag. Oh, it's down here. Now, do you remember Jess made this for us? This is from uh, one of these books, isn't it? From the little book. Uh, it's called the book bag. And it's created, I mean, you'd be able to make an even better version of it with these because these are all books, right? And they've, they're kind of on a bookshelf. So you could use these fat quarters to make those. And then you cut off here. They're all messages on the selvage, right? So you could just cut those off to make the book binding. It's a lovely quilted little tote bag, that. But using these Alison Glass fabrics. Now look at these. These are gorgeous. The colours, I'll spread them out for you because the colours are just stunning. Alison Glass, really, really beautiful, beautiful fabrics. So you've got those four. They're the same, the same pattern, but in the four different colourways there. It's a, it's a hexes, the hexes that go around like that. Same, exactly the same as that, but hexes. Right, and then there's two here, which are like the, I call them the Alice in Wonderland. They're like pencil drawings. That one's in, now I can't remember, I think that's called Crush, that colour. And then we've got it in the Raven as well. Imagine how lovely these all look together. So this one here, there's doves and, and bees and stars. In this one here, it's like a mad, crazy world. The, black, the raven one there and the crush one here. Mad, rave. In fact, we've got this a skirt made out of this. Yeah, we know you've got all different, you've got hearts and spades, but you've also got the rabbit and everything in there. Rabbit's ears and everything in there, big flowers. And then this one here, I can't remember the name of that one, but I love the colour of it. Don't they look lovely? Don't they look lovely? See, I like bright colours, though, you see. So maybe when we had Alice in Glass fabrics, you're like, oh, don't know if one's half a metre, just like the colours. Perfect way. Perfect way to have it in a stash, £28.95. They're lovely. Very, very popular, these. Very popular. I love those colors. I like the way I've laid that. Somebody said to me yesterday, oh, we do love the way that you lay everything out and you go, oh, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. Because they say, you know, when you're at home, you don't always see the true color or you don't see if they go. And I, so I quite like that, that they love that. In fact, I was honest with them. Okay, oh, is it, oh, is it arse on? Nothing's come through yet, though. Oh, this is Morning John, such a wonderful show yesterday. Did you, Wayward Gingham, well done, Sonic. Well, that, was, that blue one, which is sold now. Wayward Gingham, that was called. Oh, Lorraine, Lorraine, uh, Hilda, I've got a message for, from, for you from Lorraine. Definitely future pink, John, for Hilda. See you tomorrow. Lots of love, Lorraine. She's got me a present and everything, Lorraine. Now, how, oh, yeah, oh, oh. What's that, Jay? <laughs> it's about this big. And it's white with like a hexes, make it made into a wreath. 
I wonder what it's like living in Jay's world. Lots of people asked about Jay yesterday. I said, oh, don't worry. Don't worry about Jay. Linda in chat. Oh, Linda with a Y. She's posh. Hello, John. I'd use either black or white to go with those colours. It would make the colours pop. Love the programme. Love Lynn. Right? You mean for Hilda? Do you mean for, oh, or do you mean for those? No, I don't think she means for Hilda. I think you mean like, let me get the black one. Is there a black one on this rail? Or is it out somewhere? You see, if they're in order, if they're kept in order, there's no black on there. Yeah. Um, but you're right. It'd be like that K facet um, one that Joy did. If you put these fabrics onto black, they would look amazing, wouldn't they? Maybe I'm just not seeing things. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Right, and then the other one that's very, very popular is the marina. So you've got the, the um, yachts. You've got the beach huts. You've got the, um, what we call, I think that's like a, door, a Cornish town, isn't it, that one? And then, and that's the one. They're hexes. Oh, you have to wait now, because I've finished that one, but I'll come back to it in a minute. Put it here, JC, don't forget it. And there's the cushion there as well, the pink cushion. The one that's got this fabric in it that Victoria made. The little triangles. It's like a cutout one, you know what I mean? Thank you, Jay. People love it when I talk to you, Jay. Very limited now, this one. Get it if you can. I would say less than 10. Less than 10. Not get it in your can. Less than 10. They're cute. They work together nicely, don't they? If you're doing a bit of fussy cutting, that, uh, just, I just think they work really. Rebecca Reed loves this one. Mad Rebecca Reed, who's still on her holidays. She likes to go, apparently she likes to go out of her comfort zone. So she's gone on a, an exhilarating holiday where she does bungee jumping and all hanging off the side of buildings and things like that. Well, you know, they, they, that thing, they, they hang off the side of a building. Oh, she's having a lovely time. She'll, be re she'll get the blues when she gets back. Right, let's do batik, because we haven't really looked at these batiks. When we had these batik fabrics, as um, they sold so, so, so well and fast. And then we've now got, we haven't had a fat, these in fat quarters before. We're offering you now a fat quarter, in each, a fat quarter of each one in this bundle of all batiks. Now, Chris, my next door neighbour, she'd love this one. She loves a batik. Well, I've got too many fabrics to do it like this. Hang on. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then buttons make seven. Well, that's like panto, isn't it? Where's buttons behind you? Thirty-three pounds and ninety-five pence for the. Um, yeah, don't be. Jay's going like this, right? I've done it right. I've done it right. It's only taking your whole show, Jay. It's twenty-five to ten. Let's send him to find something else now, because that'll really throw him. Oh, I need a piece of black fabric, and I can't find black on there. But thank you. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, now you see, I love that. I wonder what quilt pattern that would be called. Thirty-three pounds and ninety-five pence for all of those. You get all seven, all seven of those fat quarters. Quite proud of that little pattern there. Let me do it like that. Actually, oh, that's better. So now uh, uh, you'll all know, but if you're new to us and you're not sure what fat quarter is, you basically take a metre of fabric, cut it down the middle and across the side, so it's a quarter of a metre. If it's made in Europe, it's quarter of a metre. If it's made in America, it's quarter of a yard. So in uh, uh, a European fat quarter is bigger than an American fat quarter. No. It's whatever the width of fabric is. Ha, ha. So that, and so whatever the fabric is, so a fat quarter can be, if it's a 60 inch wide, then it'll be 30 inches across. If it's a 22 inch fabric wide, it'll be 11 inch across. It can be any size. So it's, it's the width of the fabric, half of the width of the fabric by half a So 50 down, if it's a metre one, it's 50 down that way by whatever half the metre of the, half the fabric was. So if that's a 44 
uh, inch fabric, it'd be 22 inches. But if it's a 60 inch fabric, then obviously you get 30 inches. So you can't, ex ex a fat quarter, like a fat eighth, you can never say, you'll always know that it's 50 centimeters that way, but you can never say what size it's gonna be that way, because it depends on the, what size the fabric was that you started with. See, they learn something new every day, Hayley. Right, Jay's standing here. What said that? Oh no, it's not always 50 by 50 at all. Right, okay, let me fold those away, because Jay's brought samples in to show me. Not, not, not samples like that, you know. I mean, samples of cushions and things. I'm not a doctor, Jay. Anyway, it's been house hunting. It's getting serious, everybody. Wedding and house hunting. So if you um, live in Harborne, your house price could drop drastically in the next few weeks if he moves in there. Isn't that right? Dude, would want you as a neighbour. Right. The one good thing is they don't row. So you won't have any rows coming from next door. Let's talk about this bundle first then. This is Iris, as always. Oh, sorry. I thought you were on the show. Oh, not on me. As always, flying out. This is a block that... Well, did Lucy make this one? I'm sure she did. It's a quilt as you go block, but it's a, it's a, it's a traditional block that you could make even if it wasn't quilt as you go. Uh, using said fat quarter. It's called, what's it called this one? I can't remember. Roman. Oh, oh hang on, we've got all three. I've got three different ideas all coming towards me. I'll tell you what it is. Hayley thinks it's mosaic magic. Jay thinks it's rolling stone, which seems more sensible. Oh, it's mosaic magic, Jay. Who's giving you that bit of paper with rolling? I, no, no, it wasn't Jay guessing. He's got it written down on a piece of paper that was stuck to this. Um, anyway, that was made out of this using these. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't my show. It wasn't my show. I'm presuming it was just one fat quarter. No, it can't. Oh, well, no, actually. No, I think that might be just one. If you look, because it's used all the colours, nearly all the colours, isn't it? And they're all small pieces. Apart from these bits here, they're all quite small pieces. I don't know. I can't tell you if it was, even if it was two. Buy two. Buy two anyway. Yes, because some people, you know, like, that, that, some people are just going, oh, we absolutely love this make or that make, but, you know, we're on a budget sort of thing. If you're on a budget, you can still get gorgeous, gorgeous, impressive pieces, can't you? By using a fat quarter for 9 95 I know. I know. Right, uh, what's your next? What's your, oh, that's from a... It's what, oh, the other part, I was going to do Jay's samples because he's standing here with them. Um, rose. This is the rose bundle. 100% cotton. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Now you see they're 54 by 45, those. So that must be, oh, I don't know what that one is because that's, oh yeah, that'll be, an, that'll be a, an, Amer uh, an American one. Yeah, and then what's 45 centimetres? 90. So nine pounds and 95 pence. Lovely colours, aren't they? Because really, you've got the cappuccinos and the lattes here, and then those beautiful rose coloured spectrum there. Nine pounds and 95 pence is still of it. Sold hundreds and hundreds of those. Hundreds and hundreds of those we've sold. Right, let me go back to this book. Because I was going to show you some of the projects we've made. Let me do this, this book first, right? Some of the projects. So this is uh, Fun with Fat Quarters. By Wendy Gardner. £10.95. Right, now, as I show you the... Um, I'll bring the... Uh, oh, let's get to the projects. Still on techniques, lots and lots of techniques in this book. Um, as we get to the projects, we've made a few of these, and Jay will be waiting. See, we're still on techniques. Piping, lots of people asked yesterday if we could do more piping. We must start, we haven't even started piping. Right, fabulous flowers, drawstring bag. We like that one, look at the bikini on it. Don't let me miss the one that um, we've made. Uh, reversible bag, I'm sure we've made that one. Quilted cosmetic bag there. Doorstop. 
Now, obviously not the same fabrics, but look, there's the doorstop. Nice, isn't it? Now, obviously these fabrics aren't available. We're just showing what we've made from this book. I'll just pop that down there. Oh, doof. Party clutch. Oh, Jay took that one home, I think. Uh, retro mini pindy. Where's that lovely? Oh, the star. Now we've used K fabrics for this one. But that's the star, isn't it lovely? This sits in our green room, so when we have guests, either the plate of cakes goes on there or the bunch of flowers, the vase of flowers goes on there. That's lovely, isn't it? Really, really nice. Then, I'm sure there's a cushion in here that... Um... There it is, tucked and stitched cushion. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Now, the reason, the reason this one is we've made it personalised is because in the, in the book it says do uh, whatever decorative stitches that your sewing machine does. And this was Anne shown off. So we had scissors, reels of thread. I can't see what the second one down is. What's that one there? I need to have a look with my glasses on. Oh, like leaves. Then look at this one. Look at the one down. down. That's using the 680. The 680 sewing machine there. And then she's got needles and threads. Isn't that nice? But then if you just look at this bit here, she's done those pin tucks that you then sew up and down, up and down to create those lovely wave effects. All that's in this book. All that's in this book. Obviously, these fabrics aren't available. Oh, well, that one will be. That one will be. That's one of our um, spectrum solids there. OK, so that's in the book. Oh, Jay's got bored of waiting. Um, this Peering 9 patch bag, that's in there somewhere as well. Draft excluder, pillow with piping. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely book, that one. Right, now I'm going to move. I'm, ran I'm going all over the place. Oh, I'm all right, I'm all right for time. I'm going to go to this fat quarter now. This is one of our newer fat quarters. And you get loads. It's called Amy Butler Soulmate, this one. That's love, I love that one. It's got kind of a mixture of uh, period, like vintage uh, fabrics, and modern geometric fabrics. And that one there, well, that one there reminds me of a 1970s caravan, but it's retro, that one there. So, Victoria Pete. Victoria Pete made a cushion using these, reverse applique cushion. From, from, the, from the fat quarters, look. Oh, actually, now what she's done is, I just need to say, she has mixed, she's taken some, there were two colourways when we first did this. The other colourway I think might have sold out. So the brownie uh, rich one there was from the other colourway. That's what I just need to point out. Because the blue one's there, the pink one's there, that one's not there. Oh, and the turquoise was not in this one. But anyway, just to give you an idea. Now, if you get fat quarters and you make a project like this, you're going to have so much fabric left... Oh, yeah, this. You have so much fabric left over, aren't you, to um, create other things with, or just use in different... If, you just have, if you're doing a, um, creating a new room, for example, you could just have splashes of the same ranges going around. But then, look, this was also made... It's not hexes, actually, they're pentagons, using the same fabrics. Isn't that lovely? So there's the big flower. There's the, um, this one. There's the, let's say that again. They're, they're pentagons, these, yeah. Not hexes. Oh, is that why Jay was confused? Yeah, yeah. See, there's that fabric. There's that fabric. You know, the, somebody's asked about the uh, mosaic quilt, this one. Let me just show you. Um, it's from Quilt, and, Quilt As You Go, right? It's from Quilt As You Go. You can get the quilt... Now, to, to find our Quilt As You Go... Now, there's a show on Quilt As You Go this week, so I'm not going to go into it too much. It's not what... Yes, somebody, somebody was in doing it the other day. Was it... Um... No, no, there was an expert talking to our scheduling team and they were taking a quilt as you go and the fabrics to make it. I was taking notice I'm going on my holiday, so I was thinking, well, that's not my show, it's fine. Uh, not that I'm selfish like that or anything. If you go to our website, can we show, can we show the website? Yeah, you, right, you need to go to shop and then you need to go into wadding. So have a look here. So you click on shop, 
Then you find the bit that says wadding and batting. You see there? Click on there, then you'll have all the wadding and battings we sell. But as you go down, there they are, there they are. There's the quilt as she goes, there. So they're the ones, they're the ones that we've got. There's the one you can see there. So they're the quilt you go. So if you wanted to make this one or any of the other quilts you go, all you need to go is go to the website, click on them and pop them in your basket. This one's called Mosaic Magic. What you do is you get, you make, it, it comes printed already on the wadding. If you've not seen it before, the wadding comes with the printing on it. You cut them out into six blocks. You make them, you quilt them, and then you sew them together with sashing in between. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't show you today because we haven't actually got them today, but I just thought you see, could see them on the website. So let's look at these fabrics then. They're beautiful. £49.95 you are getting 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, 12 Amy Butler Soulmate uh, Fat Quarter. Now, you don't, it's pack one and there are 12 pieces. There was a pack two as well. That's why I was getting confused earlier. They're beautiful, aren't they? If you want me to waft any of the fabrics, just let me know. Just let me know. Okay, should you move on? I've got a message from Jane. Jane with a Y. Hello, John. Good luck for tomorrow and have a lovely holiday. I love the show. Love Jane in Solia. Oh, thank you, Jane. Uh, with, uh, I'm with Mandy Shaw. I won't get a word in edgeways. It's only a half an hour show in the theatre. But what I, know, I went to see the theatre yesterday. It's massive, right? And you have to have these. You have to have, like, your Madonna, Madonna microphones and everything. And the, everyone in the whole building can hear you. Uh, uh, this is from uh, Deborah. Wow, John, you've got such energy. I haven't stayed <laughs> over. I was just thinking I'm not doing very well today because I haven't got much energy. The fest, enjoy the Festival of Quilts and your holiday. Well deserved. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Living a lovely, she lives in the Vale of Glamorgan. That was on um, one of my favourite shows this week, Escape to the Country. And Escape to the Country, right, they're all repeats. And I know the houses and I know which ones they're going to choose, but I still sit and watch them, like go around the houses with them. Um, Jackie in South Yorkshire. She's a newbie, and she'd like to thank Jim and Jeanette in the call centre. Can't wait for my fabric. Love sewing quarter. That's from Jackie in Doncaster. In Donny. All right, Jackie. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, letting us know. I, I said that. Were well, you not listening earlier? Yeah? Yeah? Uh, everyone says how brilliant our uh, customer service team are. But we have to go. I haven't met them, you see. I haven't met them at all. Because it's not like where I used to work when they were just there, and I could run out and go like this. Got to shout at them a lot. Somebody said, oh, it's so funny seeing you all calm at work. Where you used to work, you're always very shouty. <laughs> I was like, what's that? Uh, right, I've got, still got three to show you, three to waft. I feel like I've missed... Oh, the iron! Can I tell you about the iron before, before we go any further? Sorry, we had this iron. It's off, it's off. That's how you test if an iron's off, don't you like that? Um, right, we love this iron. We love... This iron, and you love it as well. When, the first time I had it, right, it sold out in one, in one sitting. We've had it since. Uh, I just happened to bring it onto my show the other day, and I sold, I can't remember how many, it sold 40 odd, I think, the other, just like, like that, just by mentioning it. Um, look at the shape of it, first of all. It's ergonomic. We had, we had a lot of people messaging in when I showed you this last time. And this isn't me making this up. We've got the emails and the texts. Where ladies who've got uh, dexterity problems or they've got arthritis or they have trouble holding an iron. This has got weight to it, but it's not as heavy as, as a, an iron, you know, would be in your, your, your traditional iron. But this is so easy to hold, I'm being told. Really, really lovely to hold. Now, it's a fantastic steam iron. We haven't used it as a steam iron today because obviously Joe didn't need steam. What you've got, you've got your little stopper here and you fill this with water. And, and you get a little, you get a little um, thing to pour it in with. You have to do it from the tap. Then you can see how full it is here. You've got a button here. Steam on, steam off. Steam on, steam off. Steam off, steam on. Then you've got this dial, temperature dial here, which twists around so you can see how, um, how hot you want it for different fabrics. On the front here, you've got a little lamp. To tell, a little light comes on when you plug it in and it goes off when it's ready. You've also got this little gadget. It's not a gadget, it's a snicket sort of thing. So you can put your wire in so it keeps it out of the way when, while you're ironing. I can put that through there. Oh. And when you wrap it up, well, well, there you go, you see. So that's to keep your wire out of the way while you're ironing. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't put it round and round because you can only fit it in, in the once sort of thing. But what I love about this, look at this. The wire, I hadn't noticed it. It was only when somebody messaged in who had one of these. Look at the length. 
That's fantastic, isn't it? It's about two metres. It feels like two metres, though. Hang on. Isn't that brilliant? Because how many times you're ironing away and you get to the end of the ironing board or whatever, or, or your ironing board's here and the plug's all the way over there and you've got to do one of those joint... I oh, know you're not supposed to do it, but joining lots and lots of things together. You do get a little carry case with it, but I'd make a new one. And um, I, it's just... I don't think I've got it here. It's just like a little drawstring bag thing. But you can take it away with you as well. I just think it's fantastic for 39.95. They always sell incredibly well. But Haley's saying, wrap the wire round the handle. I don't think I would do this, to be honest, but... No, it won't go round with another one. And then you clip it in there. Oh, I suppose you could do that if you're travelling. It's not going to... No, it's not going to unravel. It's not going to unravel. That was what Haley would do, for, do it with it. Learning lots from Haley today, I am. Makes a change. Good job she's here. Well, it is, otherwise I'd be talking to no one, wouldn't I? He won't have done. It's 10 o'clock breaks the busiest, Drake. Um, 39.95. Right, I'll get back to the fabrics now. Uh, right, so I haven't shown this one for a while. That one and that one. So let's do the, this one first. You've got crosses. This one's called crosses, this fabric here. Angry, it's very angry. Crosses in blue, and they call this one purple, even though it's more like a lilac. Uh, it's called Floral Splendor. That's sticks. That was uh, sticks and flowers, this one was called. Right? Right, yeah? It's the only way you can buy these fabrics from us now. The actual fabrics by... Oh, no. £26.95. Got a fat quarter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in total. £26.95. They're lovely. If you don't want bright, vibrant colours, lots of people like their quilts to be kind of ditzy and little, don't they? That'd be lovely to set off as a quilt, put it with some spectrum solids. Would look lovely, that, wouldn't it? Uh, morning, John. Had my first order yesterday. Loved the show. Deborah in Lincoln. Oh, hello, Deborah in Lincoln. There were, yesterday, there were lots of people from Lincolnshire at Festival Quilts and lots of people from Maidenhead. Oh, and I met the gorgeous, what were they called? Not the Ironmongers. Oh, they, they're from Lincolnshire. Scunthorpe, right? Iron Maidens. They're called the Iron Maidens. They're a sewing group and they meet up and they're called the Iron Maidens. They meet up once a month and they were gorgeous. They were so lovely, I can't tell you. Anyway, I'm going to go to a shop in Brig. And they all live near there, so we're going to meet and have a cup of tea and everything when I go to this uh, designer shop in Brick. Uh, look at these. Hartwood four-piece. They're yeah, nice. That, that's nice. I love that one there. £16.50. and uh, A lot of people asking about the panda quilt. Uh, there are a few left. There are a few left. Uh, if you want the instructions, you don't, the instructions aren't available on their own. You do have to buy the kit, and the instructions are in the kit. Um... That's nice. Right. You want to look at... Oh, I've got one more here that I haven't opened yet. I haven't really shown, so I'll do this one here then. Uh, this one here, it's got Scandi and Stripes. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, Papillon, that's right. It's called Butterfly, but there's not a butterfly anywhere to be seen. So I'm not quite sure, quite sure why they've called this one Papillon. Oh, no, no, there's butterflies. There's butterflies on this one. Because there's paisley on that one, flowers on that one, stripes, and then those little scandy birds and hearts. And then I like this fabric. We use this as a backing on a quilt, this one, when we had it in the, in the, in the, by the half metre. Isn't that lovely? I really like that print. Now, so it's a Papillon six-piece uh, fat quarter. So that's only one of the six. There's the other five underneath. A little bit of a reveal going on there. £24.95. pence. There we go. Right. So is there anything you'd like to see before I go off this hour? Joe's up in, in after the break doing the whale. Oh, I've got a question. What can I put with teal birds? I'm stuck. Uh, well, Anna Maria texted that in. Well, she, she's the designer. She should know. It's from Sadie. So this one, this one here. Sadie's got this fat quarter pack, and she doesn't know what colours to put with it. Yeah. 
Right, so this lady's got this fat quarter and she wants to know what would go with it. Well, I'd definitely put some. Um, oh, now also. Had you spotted them earlier? Aren't they gorgeous? It's my school of Wales there. While you have a look at those, I'll see what fabrics. I'm thinking a yellow, to be honest. Have I got maize? Have I got maize here? I thought one might be maize, actually. There, so this is ochre. I'd go for an ochre with those. An ochre, I think this one's called maize. Let me just check, I have to get Hayley to check this one. Oh, here you go, oh, glasses, John, one job. It's a bit of a mess on the table, isn't it? Uh, UZ MY39. What are you saying, coral? Oh, that's bright yellow, that one, bright yellow. I, I was looking for maize, actually, because maize is a bit darker, isn't it? Um, what am I looking for? Coral. I'm oh, sorry, this is a bit... Oh, there you go, there's coral. No, I don't think that would work. No. Um, and a navy blue would look nice. No, 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 actually not navy blue. Our navy blue is almost black. There's a dark blue. Oh, no, maybe, no. No, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Or oh, this one, hang on, let's have a look at that one. A lot of blue going on there, isn't there? Minty green, someone's just said. Here's some greens here. No, I think they have the greens have clashed too much. Oh, no, yeah. I think a nice turquoise. Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. I'm, still think, I'm still thinking these two work best. And maybe, oh, a lilac or a lavender. Nice, that's nice. Uh, uh, that one's, um, I'm sorry about this. When we've, when we've got the whole system up and running and I just don't throw it at them like this, we'll be better informed. T-U-M-Y-71. No, that's not one's right. That one's not right. Yeah, violet, that one's called. That one's violet. What, the fuchsia? Or is that magenta? Is that fuchsia? No. No. You want opposite, you want pinks as well because you've got oh, the green, uh, green opposite the turn. Oh, Beverly shouting pistachio. Come on, John. Oh, this... Right, is that one's pistachio? Hang on, let's have a look. Is that one? I'll just pull a few greens out very quickly before I go and then we can just check. Right, hang on, let's move those then. So, Beverly shouting pistachio. Not that one. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. That one is KDMY90. Oh, Jay's going to have a lot of tidying up soon. It's what? Spearmint. Is that pistachio then? No, that might be a bit too... That might be grass, I think. UDMY19. But spearmint looks lovely with it. That's pistachio there. That's pistachio there. Or this one, or that one. Yeah, that one there. So this one is, I'm gonna, this will be the last one I do, because you, oh, it's the same. Oh, I thought we'd add UDMY19. Oh, hang on. Right, okay, I found, I found an issue. Right, that one is you, that's pistachio. Do you think, oh, is it that one's pistachio? That's pistachio, yeah. And then, so what's this one called? No, that one, that's the one I did think, but never mind. But I'll put that to one side, because they've both got the same number, Jay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's enough of that. I love it when it goes wrong live on air. Um, I'll see you in three minutes from now with Joe and the whales. 
Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. To celebrate my birthday, we've created two shows dedicated to my passion for fashion and penchants for pets. Join us on Tuesday the 15th of August at 8am for an hour of bag making fun featuring a birthday bundle of my favourite fabrics. The festivities continue at 10am with a show that's all about our four-legged friends. Learn how to make a dog coat, bed and toy organiser using some adorable animal-themed prints and matching solids. There'll be plenty of fun along the way, so don't miss Tash's Birthday Bash, Tuesday the 15th of August at 8am and 10am, only on 7 Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry, there are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Wednesday the 16th of August when Angie Atwood returns with another Westerly Masterclass. Westerly templates are designed to give your quilting projects a professional finish without dampening your creativity. They're versatile and easy to use, and with Angie's expert guidance, they'll revolutionise the way you quilt. Angie will show us an array of tips and tricks at 8am, followed by a quilting demo at 10am, featuring some fabulous designer pre-cuts. So tune in and prepare to be amazed at what you can achieve, Wednesday the 16th of August at 8am and 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Don't forget, like the advert just said, if you if it's your first purchase and you spend over ten pounds, not including post and packaging, you get a free sewing kit. It's really lovely, worth fourteen ninety nine. Anyway, now I know you've seen these before, but aren't they gorgeous? You might not have seen them before. You might not have discovered us that. Now we're bringing you kits, but we're bringing you kits with a bit of a difference today because you see these aren't they gorgeous? These are the two tone whales. Uh, we're also, well, I'll, I'll, show you the, I'll show you those first of all, and then I'll tell you what we're doing, because Jay can bring the other one over to me in a second when it's ready. So, if you go for the uh, two-tone kit, you can make two whales out of the fabric, and there's enough stuffing to make the two whales, right? So, there's the first kit. So, that's the grey whale kit. So, you get a metre of the fabric. So, half a metre of the grey, half a metre of the blue and you get the eyes, and you get the thread, and you get the instructions, 34 pounds and 90, uh, 45 pence, 45 pence, sorry. Then the second one I've got you in the duo kit is this one here. Just move all that over there. So in all of them, you get the, you get the instructions, you get the thread, you get the eyes, and then you also get in this one, half a meter of each of the two pink, gorgeous stretchy lovely it's real that tactile it's 34 now that one's 34.95 that one 34 pounds and 95 pence that one. Oh, it's 34.45 there's a mistake on the graphics apparently uh, Haley's just checking that right now 
What we've also done, so, oh, excuse me, in each of those uh, bundles, you can make two whales, because there's enough fabric to make two whales, and you get enough stuffing. I think, you, did you get two, two of these bags then? You get two bags of stuffing to make the two whales. So for, th what's that? So £17.50 a, 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 a toy, right? A, or a whale. And they're lovely, big, squidgy, gorgeous whales. Now today, for the first time, we're also offering you a single coloured one. Now in this bundle, I'll show you it in a second. I'll show you it in a second. There are four different colourways, right? But this way, you can make one whale uh, and you get enough stuffing for one whale, but you still get the instructions, still get the thread. But some people don't want two whales, do they? So we've got the single whales here. So the first colourway is the lilac. I'll show you the actual thing in a second. I'll show you the actual thing in a second. Oh, we've got a picture of it. There it is. There it is. Look at the lovely smile on the side there. Uh, 19 pounds. Look at that. 19 pounds and 95 pence. 19 pounds and 95 pence. That's the lilac whale kit. Now, as you can see, it's lilac all over. It's not got two tone. Look, isn't he cute? Beautiful. So you get the eyes in that as well. So I just need to move the eyes over here. So you also get the eyes and you get the one bag of stuffing for that and the instructions, 19 pounds and 95 pence. So it comes in lilac. It also comes in... OK, white. The white one. So Hayley chose the white one. Now, can we look up on the instructions to see if this, if this is machine washable or hand washable, this, um, this um, fluff, please? So that's the white whale kit. You get the, the white fabric stuff to make one, the padding to make one, the thread and the instructions and the eyes. Now, in the eyes, you get one, two, three, six. You get enough to make three of the eyes. With the eyes, you get enough to make three. Then I've also got this one, which is like a fuchsia pink. This is lovely. So again, you get um, the half metre of fabric, the thread, the padding, the instructions and the eyes. I'll just turn that around that way. There you go. It'll be the same price, nineteen ninety-five. That's the fuchsia whale kit. Everything you need to make one, and it's all one colour in this. With the duo ones, you can make two in two colours. We just thought some people might not want to make two. You know what I mean? They might not want to make two. They might just want the one. Uh, and then last but not least, I've got this lovely cobalt blue one here. That's beautiful, isn't it? And I, I can only tell you how exquisite this fabric is to touch. This one's called electric blue, or just, yeah, electric blue. Again, you get the fabric, the threads, the stuffing, the eyes, and the instructions. All for 19 pounds and 95 pence. Right, I'm going over. Instructions. So, Joe. Hello. These are gorgeous, aren't they? I don't think I'll put it there. Uh, which one are you going to show us how to make today, then? The blue and the grey. The oh, so you're doing a duo. You're doing a duo one. You're doing yes. a duo one. Okay, brilliant. So, so the only difference is with the duo ones, you get two colours, so you can make. You could make two if you wanted to. You can make like one blue one and one grey one, or you can make like a, a one with a blue body and a grey underbelly, or the other way around. Or you can go for the single coloured ones. So that way, in that kit there for thirty-four forty-five, you can make two. And in the other kit, with, you can just make one. It's fantastic. Right. Is it difficult to work with stretch fabric? <clears throat> it takes some getting used to, but I find it really easy to work with because it's got that bit of stretch. Actually, it means sometimes you can just give it a bit of a, an adjustment, a bit of a pull here and there and make things fit when... If you, if, if you're just short a tiny bit, just yeah. a bit of a stretch. And now, with my... <clears throat> excuse me. My friend, Shimoy Mary, had trouble with the... Um, Unicorn, would she be able to do the whale, do you think? Is there anything tricky that you have to look out on? The only tricky <clears> bit <throat> is the corner of the smile. Oh, okay. Because it, it's shaped here, so this bit here, and it's shaped like that, so you get a sort of a smile oh, around the mouth. Right. But this corner is the only tricky bit, really. Oh, be with you in a second. There it is. And it does, it just gives a, a bit yeah. of a grin. But with it being a stretch fabric, this is where you're saying, if this was a solid cotton, like when we made the um, unicorns, it's very, very difficult. But this is a stretch fabric. It's stretch, so it's quite forgiving. Yes. And so you can sort of pull it around a bit and make it do what you want. Brilliant. 
OK, let's get on. So now, would you say it was a beginner project or uh, an advanced beginner or an intermediate? Intermediate, probably. Or confident beginner to intermediate. Because there isn't... It's not that difficult, but it's... You've got curves here, which can be a bit oh, daunting yes, yes, for yeah. a beginner. And so it's the stretch, the curve, and that smile. OK, so in the pattern, in the instructions, you get the pattern for everything. These are all um, actual size, aren't they? Don't know if that have one. They are. With seam so. allowance. In, in <laughs> yes, seam allowance included. I forgot I was here. <laughs> yes, yeah, I just watched John. Um, with a quarter of an inch seam allowance is on this? Yes, six millimetres, quarter of an inch. And you've got notches as well, so you've got matching, you've got yes. things. That, well, that's a bit of a difficult one, that one. It is, it's quite a long piece, so yes. you do have to join up the template. Oh, that joins to there, that joins yes. to there. Right, OK, that's the middle. So if, that, if you were doing the duo one, is that the bit that's the other colour? No, that's the bit that goes over the top. Oh, over the, the top of the head. Oh, that's, that's the my bad, yeah. Uh, then you've got the tummy piece there. And then, now, where are the, instru the instructions at the beginning, are they? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, it wasn't Little Paul's making up then. It was for, this is the actual name of it. Oh, oh no, there's it. I'm trying to open this one. There's all the, inst all the instructions are there with drawings and everything that you need to do. They always look a bit weird, don't they, before they've been stuffed? So, and then there's pictures and lots and lots of writing there of how to put them together. Okay, so, once you've cut it out... The first bit is to do the flippers, the fins, at right. the side. So, I've done one already. But they, when they're cut out, you need to cut four of this piece out, but two one way and two the other, so that you have mirror image pieces. Of course. So that you can put quick, them right together. Quick question. Together. Do you have to take... Is it like working with velvet? Do you have to take the nap of the fabric into consideration? Yes, so that it gives a nice finished look to the... And an even look. So this... And I think it's marked, it should be marked on the pattern. There'll be arrows. Oh, OK. Let me just For which check. way? So oh, yes, yes, yes. Look. So this here, this arrow sideways, so you're almost getting that one on the bias then, even though it's not the yes. bias. So that's just the straight of grain, that one. Okay, phone lines have gone absolutely crazy, I'm being told. Um, okay, so they're all on straight of grain unless they have an arrow pointing otherwise. Yeah, because look, the top of the tail, you have the straight of grain going that way, and the fin, you have the straight of grain going that way. So you get that, there you go. Okay? This doesn't make <coughs> me, make... I have to keep you updated on stock because it's absolutely gone crazy up in the call centre. It makes it strokeable so that it goes to that You can way. wash the fabric at 40 degrees. I just want to... I just wanted to chat, I'll tell you about the ribbon in a minute. I'll, uh, only worried because of the white one, you see, I was, Kaylee wanted the white one, and I know what her husband and her child are like, there'd be food all over it within no time, but, um, but the, the, machine, the, what the fabric is machine washable. Right, OK. OK, so I'll start with the flippers or the fins at the side, so I've done one already, but place them right sides together, and so around the edge here, leaving this top bit open. With this stretch fabric, I don't bother clipping the seam allowance. Because okay. it's stretchy, it just allows for it and it fits in quite nicely. Okay. So I find it really easy to work with, but it does take a bit of practice. Yeah. So Did you put a different needle on your machine? Did you put, have to put a ballpoint needle on your machine or was you just using a normal one? I use my regular needle. Okay. Because sometimes with stretch, you have to go to a ballpoint, don't you? That's all. It would probably would be quite helpful to use a ballpoint, but I just use my standards of 80. Uh, we do have, I don't know if they're still there, but we did have a bundle of sewing machine needles on the website where you can get like ballpoint embroidery, leather, denim, and then there's a packet of each in, in the kit, but we do sell the machine uh, needles on the, on the website. The other tricky thing to get used to is you, the, the edge of the fabric's obscured slightly because the, the fur fluff. overlaps. So try to judge... And tuck it in a bit and see the actual edge and work from that rather than... Would you not pin it? You could pin it. I don't. No. I'm not a big... as you know. So you're, you're um, leaving the needle in, pivoting, going round the corners and things. It does, it just makes it... Oh, it, it seems to sew quite well together, that, though. It's not like... I was imagining it was going to be a nightmare, because if you use something like Panay Velvet, it all curls up as you're stitching along. All the seam allowances all curl up round it, but this isn't at all, is it? And as well, with velvet, <clears> it <throat> slips yeah. really badly, doesn't it? Or, well, it does if you're sewing a lining to it, yeah. or... Not, well, no, even if not you put, to itself if you took, as much. No, but if you've got Panay Velvet, which is more like a stretch velvet like this, then they slide all over the place. You do have to be really careful. 
after it's worth once you've stitched it just checking that you've kept to the seam allowance on the back and actually here I've taken a little bit less so I often instead of unpicking it I will just do it again from this side yeah. just to make sure I've taken the right amount of seam allowance. Have you chosen the grey and blue one because it's your favourite colour or have you got a favourite colour? I don't know which is my favourite colour actually. I really like the lilac. One. I think the What's lilac's the... gorgeous, yeah. <clears throat> the lilac's obviously only available in the solo, not the duo. Oh, uh, there's only one. Okay, lots of the lilac ones have gone. And then also, I the edges can slip, so yes. you definitely so that you make it. Take an even seam allowance. It's the same on both sides. I will base this, even though there isn't any stuffing. You haven't stuffed in it. it. No, I keep those empty. Oh, they're not stuffed then. They're not stuffed. Oh, okay, sorry. So I'm just going to stitch straight across <coughs> the top, just to keep the the open end level each yeah. side of it. Just take a bit of the extra fluff off the edge. Uh, we've done the way. I've only done it once. I thought we'd done the whales twice, you and I. No. Apparently we've only done them once. Only the ones. Who did them then? Was it me? Was it me? I think it might have been Natasha. But I seem to, I've done and a whale. do you remember a whale? Maybe. That's a bit weird. Have I done this before? Have you bought this from me before? Well, it hasn't been done since February anyway. It hasn't been done since February. It only launched on January the 31st. I could have sworn I'd done the whales. No, I've def I definitely did the whales. Because Natasha used this fabric to make like a baby towel... Was that you? Was that, that wasn't me, no. no. So Natasha did the show where she made the baby towel and the baby wrap and everything like that, using different colours. And then I've done a show with whales and the fabric before. I think I must have chatted about the whales to Natasha then. I remember having a whale conversation. I haven't done the unicorn in stretch fabric. So anyway, Hayley's saying perhaps it was unicorn. We haven't done the unicorn in stretch fabric here, have we? No, it's only ever been in... In the magazine concert. stretch. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. So they're, so they're done. The, I was going to say they're the ears. They're not the ears <laughs> at all. They're the fins. No, yeah, the fins. Now, these bits, the side body joins to this central panel. So this is the bit that goes over the top of the head, and this is the bit that's got the eye in it. Yes. Yeah, just so we get it. Um, I like to have... This is where I've... Re discovered that I don't always necessarily do it the easiest way. Okay. But I like to sew from the front out to the back and it, it joins from this front edge all around the curve to this sort of corner here. Yeah, so then, and that's notched, is it? So you know how far to go. I think it is yeah. in the pattern. So I, I will pin this, but I like to stitch. What? Should I just go for it? No, no, you just said I'll pin something. Well, I would, I would just go for it and, and I do, but I think if you're not experienced with stretch fabric, it probably makes sense yeah. to pin it first. But but the thing about stretch fabric, you don't want to pin lots and lots because the because you'll make runkles in the fabric, won't you? You just want to pin it so you know each piece is in the right place. Almost. Yes, it's quite resilient fabric yeah. though. This it's um, it is it's good like that. Because I stitch from this front sort of mouth edge out to the back each time, it means I have a different piece on top. So for this side, I would have this side uh, body piece yes, on top. Yeah, but on doing this side. And if, you, if you're making this and you had a preference that you like to have the curve on the bottom and or the curve have the, on the straighter top, like edge, I do. Yeah. then do it whichever way right. suits. But I do it from... So you do one of each, basically? I do one of each. I've noticed the difficult. fabric. Do, do have your hoover yes. available because the, the, the fabric, it's not fraying, but because it, it's a, like a faux fur almost. It does, it's lots of, there's lots and lots of, and give your sewing machine a good old um, brushing through after you've used it as well. Wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. The fur and fluff I to get out underneath my plate in my exactly. machine. Now, have you got a decent hoover at home? Or a decent vacuum cleaner, I should say. Yes. Should I? Because I, I, when I go to the gym, I watch um, Place in the Sun and everything on the machine when I'm on the, on the running machine. And um, there's an advert for a man who's designed a hoover, a bike, a tree cutter and a lawnmower. Mm. All... All, not all in one. No, no, not all in one. They're all different things. But he obviously has a deal with Channel 4 yeah. to play his adverts over and over and over again. And I can't get over how good his hoover looks. But, but it's a, it's a charge-up one. It hasn't got a lead on it. You know what I mean. He's a skinny man uh, with a dog. Uh, and I just wondered if anyone had that hoover in, whether it was any good or not. 
What's on? I think I know the one you mean. I've always quite fancied one because they're really slim line. Slim they? line, lightweight. Take them apart. You can do the little stairs with like that. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story. But this would be good for that. That's what I'm saying. This would be good for coming around and hoovering up after this. <laughs> but I don't trust things you have to charge up, you see, because I always think they're going to no, run out halfway yeah. through. And then after a few uses, they don't hold the charge. Of which one, Hayley? Oh, the one that Joe's using. Once everyone's checked out, there's two left. Don't know why I'm laughing. There's only two left. Once everyone's checked out. Now, isn't that funny? I thought the um, single ones would be the first to sell out. I don't I know did. why. I don't know why. Maybe because you, maybe you make maybe you want to make two of them. I'm not used to pinning it. I'm no, not very, I'm not very no, good. You've, you've got all that know, ease I'm not, there. I'm not very good. The so what? What? Hells. Right, we're taking the blue and the grey one out of the main graphics now. I'm going to put the pink duo one in the graphics. Oh, I can hear a taxi. Thank you. There we go. So, right. so this. And if you wanted to use a wider stitch first, if you're a bit unsure of the fabric, use a wider stitch and then if it's... Good, just so over the top of it. So you don't do a little zig or anything like that. It's just uh, in the old days we just we just sewn that stretch fabric with a little, not a big deep zig like a satin stitch, but just a little zig stitch. Zig stitch. Obviously not. Press the knot button again. Um, you okay. could do I, I because it's quite the almost the backing of it's quite sturdy thick and sturdy. Stable, yeah. I just treat it like a standard oh, okay. fleece, or I keep pressing the knot button. Sorry. All right, Thomas. Just ease that crease out. Talk to me. Right, when you buy this one, it will be thirty-four forty-five, not thirty-four ninety-five. That's an issue with the graphics, but you will be charged thirty-four forty-five for this. So this is the one that's in the graphics at the moment, the duo pink one, there it is on the picture. So with the duo, you get enough fabric to make two whales, you get enough stuffing to make two whales, you've got enough eyes to make three whales, <clears throat> and you get the instructions and you get the thread as well for 34.45. The single ones, the single coloured ones, there's enough to make one with enough padding, enough stuffing to make one. Oh, yeah, on the instructions, it will obviously tell you, cut the bottom one out in a different colour. Obviously, you don't... You, and the so solo one, you just cut them all out of the same colour, which is obvious. Okay, that's... Uh... You're muttering. Does the job? Yeah, I am muttering, sorry. We've well, got a question. It's an email. It'll come through in a second. There we go. So that's one side on. Oh. Okay. Do the other one. How much should I just go for it for speed? No. Well. So as long as you match the notches, you know you're in the right place on this one. But yours now you sew it the other way, so you had the fuller fabric on the bottom last time, but this time you're gonna have the. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, the, the, the other way around, but you've done them both diff slightly differently. This is the way I find easiest, but it's not necessarily. Just have a bit of an experiment. Even just try it under the machine yeah. and think, oh, actually, would I find but it? Does that, but that means you're, you're saying both of them from the same end going downwards. You're going from the top to the bottom. If you did it the other way, it might, there is a possibility that it might suddenly shift a little bit like that, would it not? There's a possibility if you stretch it this way, I know it's even at the front. Yes, yeah. And I want to keep the face as even yes. as possible. So that's why I... Yeah, I understand. That's method the, in your madness. That is the method yeah. behind the madness. Somebody's just asked about the cutting mat. It's uh, Imperial Metric double-sided, 36 by 24 inches. And it's made by So Easy. Have we got, the gra have we got some graphics for it? Hey, we'll find it for you. Somebody's just asked. It's got, um, don't know. Do you want, has it got a number on it? Oh, you see, we, 
We aim to please, don't we? On the other side, it's got centimetres. Yeah, here you go. OVGQ47. Put the graphics in, just quickly, while Joe's going. Then it's on the web page there, if anyone wants to see it, then you see. <coughs> oh, the little bits of... Um, can I ever slurp up a water? The little bits of fluff again, the back of my throat. Ooh. <coughs> I think my body knows it's going on holiday at the, on, my, on tomorrow night. It's always the way, isn't it? You kind of last out until just... <laughs> oh, I'll get on holiday and I'll be ill. Oh, there was a lovely message before the break that I didn't read. Was it from Julie? Saying, she said something like, oh, sorry, I'm joining you late. It just came through before the, before the break. That was all. Just have a look at them. Have a quick look. Uh, good morning, gorgeous John. Sorry I'm late. I hope you have a safe journey and a lovely holiday. Is San Diego ready for you? Oh, they know me. They know me. I'm a regular. Lots of love, Julie. Will it be very hot then? The, the... Yeah, well, well, it wasn't that hot last year, but we're going a bit earlier this year because George, my nephew, is at university there. Yeah. And if we'd gone when we normally go in September, he'd have been back at university and he wanted to spend more time with us, so we're going a bit earlier this year. Paul said what? Well, that was very handy, John. You will have to do that again for us as matching colours on TV is not easy. Oh, yeah, Paula, we'll do. But I want them to get them... I want them to be show ready. That's the, that's the rail we have out there for prep and everything. What I'd like to do is like to do the equivalent. I have them all pressed and ready and in rainbow order so I could just go, oh, the greens, yes, these are the greens, like that. I've, I've mooted it, whether they'll do it or not. We'll see if it's ready by the time I get back from the holidays. Putting a deadline in. No, they want a deadline. Hmm. I haven't got anything new on my screen yet, have you? So what, what's the message? Um, what's the message that's supposed to be coming through now? Though? Oh, and who's that from? Janice says so she's Janet. Janet has saying um, she's going to miss me when I'm away. I'm only, it's only seven shifts. I'm not. If you think about it, I do fourteen shifts a month. I'm only away for two. I'm back on the thirty-first of August. Honestly, um, do you have a dragon? toy that you're ever going to do? I don't have one. Oh, Janet. But that's quite... I really should have a dragon. Yeah. Especially with various TV programmes being Especially quite... Especially with what? Various TV programmes being quite big on dragons at the moment. They're quite popular, aren't they? There's... Oh, you mean Game of Thrones? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking of <laughs> children's <laughs> shows with, like, fluffy dragons. Oh, well, there, there, there are... Well, I'm a bit out of date. I don't really, the Game of Thrones dragons frighten me a little bit. They are a bit scary. When they were little, when they were baby, I thought, oh, I'd like one of those. But now I don't. I'm not too sure. Yeah, they're. A I'd bit... have to have a big, big basement for them to live in. I haven't got a basement, you see. But... Right, Margaret, please can you ask if the Joe Carter ECGC24 grey and blue budgie kit will be coming back into stock? If not, can you advise where I can purchase this? Margaret. Uh, we will be getting them back in stock, Margaret. Where is it that one? Is it that one? Stay there, grey and blue. Do you mean this one, Margaret? I love these. Uh, they are coming back in stock. They will be coming back in stock. Um, Hayley's going to... Uh, when's, um, when's our old crazy what's-it back? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca Reed, right? Um, uh, she, when she comes back, she's going to sort it out. So keep an eye out for it, Margaret. It'll be quite soon, I imagine. What, little Paul? Oh, uh, uh, Paul? Which Paul is it? OK, Paul, it'll be sorted. She won't tell me what the question is or anything, but it'll be sorted. doesn't matter. It'll be sorted. Carry on. So that the tail kicks up slightly, this piece joins onto the bottom. It just gives it a little bit of a lift. Oh, so it's got like a dart, almost like a dart. They're causing almost a dart, like... yeah. Ooh. But they... I've never seen a whale 
in real life. I've seen... No, I've never seen a whale in real life. No, I don't think I have. Anyway. Yes, Hayley. Oh, OK. All oh, right, OK. Uh, we've got a lot of people saying that they want to buy the fabrics and they've gone to the website to look for it. And can they buy the fabric on its own? Yes, in a minute. Let me do the tail. I'll let Joe do the tail and I'll explain it to you. It's a little bit easier that way up. Yeah. So line up these, this sort of internal corner and just stitch around there from one end to the other. Pivot with the needle down at the point. Pivot round and yeah. do the other side. OK. And that's almost the top of the body done. OK. What time is it? Oh, we're only halfway through. Um, Hayley, how do you want to do this then? Oh, OK. Do you, just stitch that bit and then okay. don't... Because I've just got to go over and explain something. Uh, right. So, let me just talk about... Oh, hang on. Let me just talk about the kit first. And then I'll talk about the fabrics, right? So, the grey and blue one is gone, has it now? OK, you need to check out your baskets. If you want this, it's all in baskets. It's all in baskets, right. So, the kits that I've got available are in the duo... We've got it in the pink, right? In the pink, so you get the, the darker pink and the light... Well, it's not dark pink, the medium pink and the light pink. You get the thread, you get the eyes, you get the instructions, and you get two lots of wadding, or padding, not wadding, for £34.95. OK? We're not showing the still on that one, then. OK, there's still some of those left. There's still some of those left, right? The single-coloured kits, we've got the electric blue. Uh, you get half a metre of the fabric, you get the thread, you get the instructions, you get one bag of stuffing and the eyes, and that's £19.95. There's the kit. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Absolutely stunning colour. There's your graphic. Electric blue. So you get enough to make one. You get enough in the, in the duo, you get enough to make two. In this one, you get enough to make one. So, OK, there are less than 10 of those left, of the kits. Less than 10 of the kits left, right? The one that Joe's made is the lilac one. So you've got the lilac fabric, the lilac thread, the instructions, one bag of wadding, and the eyes. £19.95. pence. There's the, there's the still of it. Oh, there was that one. 19.95, and that's to make the one that Joe's already made, which means it's all the same colour. We will go back to Joe in a minute and do the smile and everything like that. Then I've got the fuchsia. Again, just enough to make the one whale in this. So you get half a metre of the fuchsia fabric, the fuchsia thread, the instructions, one bag of stuffing, and the eyes, £19.95. pence. And last but not least, the one that Hayley wants, is the white one. Well, Hayley, if you're setting off on your sewing um, adventures, you should get some of this then. Yeah, she, uh, I'll just say, Joe, that Hayley was a bit scared about making this, but you're making it look so easy. She might have a go at it. It's just the curve. You'd have a trouble with the curved seams, I think, Hayley, because you're only used to doing straight lines, aren't you? 1995 for the whole of the white kit. Now, Paul in North Yorkshire asked if he could buy the fabric, the white fabric, because he's going to make, he's got the pattern for the unicorn, so he's going to make the unicorn out of this fabric, so I can sell it to you by the half metre. So the white first, as that's the one Paul wanted. Now, this is half a metre, it's very wide. It's called Snow White. Sit. It's beautiful and soft. It's really, really lovely. Now, it's £10.95 for half a metre. And now, how much would they need? Can you remember how much they'd need to make a unicorn with? Would a half a metre be enough? Half a metre would be enough. Oh, yes. half a metre would be enough to make a unicorn with. So that's ten ninety five for half a metre. It's beautiful. I'll do that with the pink one because you won't be able to see it on the white one. Yep. OK. I've got, other, I've got other colours. I'll go quickly now. I'll go quickly. Have a look at this fuchsia pink one. Or they might call it something different, actually. 
Look, it's beautiful. Make a lovely snuggle blanket, this. It's so, and it's machine washable at 40 degrees. So this one is the Shannon Saddle, uh, no, I'll start that again. Shannon Solid Cuddle 3 Fuchsia. Half a metre, 10 pounds and 95 pence. I'm going to run through these colours now because um, we've got to get back to Joe because it's all about the uh, whale, really. Uh, I've got them in the electric blue. If you want half a metre in the electric blue. Look. Ooh. Isn't it lovely? The nap. Now, that's what you have to look for. You see the nap. You want the nap go all going the same direction on the, on the whale. 10.95 half a metre. Right, then I've got the lilac. This is where it's going to get confused. Yeah, it's called the nap. It is called the nap, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. The question in me now, and it makes me... Um, lilac, £10.95. Right, I'll quickly go through the other pinks and the, and the grey. So, in this one... Ooh. So that... Now, do you know which is which? Oh, they call that hot pink. Ooh. No, OK, this is hot pink. By the half meter, ten pounds and ninety-five pence. Graphic coming in. You can always check these on on underneath in a minute. Then we've got this pink, which is called baby pink. Baby pink, half meter, ten. That's got just a blush. I'd have called that one blush. Oh, have I made have I made a mess on that one? Oh no, it's just a bit of fluff. Okay, ten pounds and ninety-five pence. But I'll put that back together. Then the only other colour I've got is the grey. You see, I think the grey and the pink... Oh, 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 oh. The grey and the pink would look nice together. But anyway, let's not do that. Uh, this is the grey. It's called charcoal. Half a metre, £10.95. OK, so that's for those three. So if you want to buy it by the half metre, just go either go down to the website and they'll all be listed down there. You can have a look. Right, let's get back on with this whale then. I feel like I've been here for days today. Is that... Oh. Pardon? <laughs> I won't. I, I was. Uh, yes, I'll stop there. Yeah. Me too. Yes. <laughs> and you've, you've got the whole. So you've got to hold, do uh, festival of quilts this afternoon. I have. I have. I might need a coffee. Yes. Oh, the, it's right next to a fantastic coffee stand. You'll be fine. Perfect. Right. Was that it's planned? Expensive. No, it's in, it's in the cafe because it's called the Sewing Quarter Cafe. Ah, but there's no so co there's no coffee on our stand. But it's between two cafes. So. Right. Perfect. Right. So we've got the side pieces, the central panel, and the tail. Yeah. And the only other grey bits for the upper part of the body are the fins. fins. So I'll base those in, and there are notches, uh, no, markers. I'd have marked them on because of the grey, they weren't yes. visible. But making sure they're facing the correct way. Right, which is? Towards the back, towards the tail. Oh, Otherwise, yes, yes, yeah. They'll oh, be... yes. It makes them into a seal if you do it that way around. <laughs> doing that. Oh, yes, imagine that poor old <laughs> whale trying to swim do backstroke. One going one way, one yes. going the other might be. Oh, that'd be like Jay, he always swims in a circle when he goes swimming. I'm a terrible swimmer. Oh, yeah? No. I thought your family were quite adventurous and did rock climbing and castle thingying and swimming in the sea and things. Uh, adventurous would be pushing it, I oh, think, okay. a bit. Um, well, your pictures always look like you're adventurous. Wow, well, camelized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? On these like, social medias, you can tell any story you want, can't you? I've, I, everyone thinks I have this really glamorous life when really I just go home on my own and sit and watch the telly. That's all, <laughs> that's all I do. <laughs> I posted one picture wearing waterproof, <coughs> waterproof trousers and people yes. think I'm outdoorsy. I like the picture of your, your boys outside. Were you outside a museum or an art gallery or an exhibition of something? It was a fantastically posed picture. They were your two boys, weren't they? They were at Tower Bridge. Oh, was it Tower we Bridge? Were, yes. We went and climbed Tower Bridge last week. Oh, OK. Uh, if you were listening, Hayley, there are two markers on the pattern where you can't she explain, you can't Joe explain, you can't see them on the grey on the grey. You mark it, you take a marking from the pattern onto the fabric, and um, you work, can't see it on the telly. So I've just basted within the seam allowance, so just quite close to the edge, just yeah. to hold them in place. Okay. This way, it might be a bit. So more. now this, this, it's all been quite straightforward up to now. So this next bit is the tricky bit. Is it the only tricky bit really of the whole piece? It is. First of all, before we get to that, I'm going to join... Oh, sorry, sorry, I've done it. It, it is, it's this piece, it's this corner yes, that's yeah. going to be tricky. But you've got, what you've got here is you've got the whole of the underbelly and the under of the tail as well. So the tail on this one isn't separate, it's all enclosed. It is, it's all joined All in. of this on here, 
but like going from the chin, as it were, right the way up the body, right into the tent, it's all one piece. It's all one piece. Whereas on the other side, you've got that seam there to kick it, kick it out. Right. So and all see... this, well, this looks quite tricky <coughs> around here. It just mirrors, it's exactly the same as yes. this above. So actually, this isn't very difficult. It, it is just, just a smile bit. bit there. But you make, you, you're going to sew up the centre. I'm going to sew them together, first. but I'm going to leave a gap here. Oh, is that where you stuff it? It's just easiest and less visible if it's in the centre at the bottom. Okay. So I'll use some pins just to mark oh, where I'd I know. That's the third time you've used pins today. And I want the opening about here. Yeah. It's gone very quiet because we're watching Jay tidying up. So you're just sewing up the um, the belly seam, really, with the big yes. gap in the middle. How, how long? Ten centimetres, you say? About a hand. Yeah. Well, my hand would be a lot more ten. than ten centimetres, yeah. Well, now I've got a little... Uh, there's a thing, isn't there, about you can work out what kind of person you're supposed to be by the shape of your hands. Have you ever done that? No. I've got workers' hands. In Victorian times, I'd have been a manual labourer, apparently. I dread to think what my hands say about me. I'll get them read for you. Shall I get them read for you one day? I'll get my friend in and read them. <laughs> they read everything these days, don't they? You picture your clothes, your bottom. I've had a rumpologist <laughs> read my bottom. <laughs> Isn't Sylvester Stallone's mum a rumpologist? Yes, yes, she is. I thought you said, didn't they think you were Sylvester Stallone's mum? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> they thought I was David Walliams. Oh. Because they didn't know who it was behind the screen. Anyway. Did it reveal anything uh, about yourself that you were... <laughs> no, I just meant I've got a ticklish bottom. That's all it revealed. <laughs> oh, Jay's taking the number down. He's going round. Which is lovely. It was ten years ago this week I had that done on this morning. It was live on telly. Oh, no, don't. Right, OK, so we've so sewn the belly up. About a hand size yeah. gap. And then it's just... There's no ironing on this project at all, is there? There isn't. No. It's quite straightforward. To which, oh, yeah. <laughs> the mini iron has been flying out today, but we don't need it in this hour, obviously. I'll show you again in the next hour, because it's me again doing... Um... Oh, got lovely batik fabrics the next hour. Sorry, Joker. Just joining the top and the bottom. Yeah, now, that's all that's left. Um, the mini iron is great for if you do foundation paper piecing. I've done. Well, You've been doing that this afternoon. Oh no, not found. Oh, that camera you did is brilliant. Does it I move did. though? No. Oh, I thought you might be clever and done a shutter that could move. Sadly not. She's done a, a, a picture of a camera, but done with foundation. It's foundation paper piecing, it is. isn't it? And it's just incredible. It's not my pattern. It's, it's somebody else's pattern. It's brilliant. It's really clever. Cleverly designed. Yeah. Now you could start at any point because we're just going to sew all the way around the e edge. The, this is an obvious point at the bottom of the tail yep. where they meet. So I'm going to sew from there. Or if you wanted to sort of tackle this front bit, mark so, up, match up where the markers are for the yep. pins, and you could start from there. But I'm yeah. going to start from this bottom end. Okay. And at the corner, shall I talk about it first? Really? Yes, please do. That would make sense, wouldn't it? So this is the smile. This is the, we've got 14 minutes, so we're fine. This is the smile corner we're talking about here, which on, obviously on the duo is more obvious than it is. You can see it on both, but it's more obvious than it is on the, um, on the lilac-y one. See what I mean? You can still see... Oh, I made them. There you go. Anyway, sorry, sorry, go on. So I like to have the, the stomach piece on top, and then when I get to here, and... It's the bit that's lining up. I'll grab my pen. Yeah. Do you have to go anywhere without this pen? No, never. Keep one in my handbag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You never know when you might need one. Wow. So it's this point needs to match up with this point here. Yeah. So when we get to there, I'm going to pause with my needle down through the fabrics. And if possible, I might even make a tiny snip there just to give it a little bit more freedom. Before or when you get there? When I get there, okay. when the needle's in. Yeah. And then just reposition it round 
to then carry on at the front. Okay. But it has to be done in one fluid. You can't stop. You can't sew up to there, stop, and you Why tend not? to get a tuck in it. Oh, okay. it. It tends to be very difficult to reposition. All right. So. Come on then. Let's. We'll watch you do that live on television. Let's see if I can make a mess of this. Then. <laughs> it's. I would say the chances were quite high. What, are you making a mistake? Yeah. Just Don't be saying that. No, just to, you know, add a little layer of tension. I shall keep my eyes peeled, says Janet. This is one about the um, dragon. Never seen Game of Thrones, not got on Sky, not got Sky. But do play a couple of dragon-based tablet games along mm. with my grandsons. Ooh. That's a bit mysterious. Anyway, I'll shut up while you're saying. I'm following the curve round for the tail. Right. I'm just going to stop at that point as well and reposition. So I'll get to the needle down. Reposition this to carry on. And there's a marker on the pattern to show where the stomach will then meet the side. We'll change from the central panel to the side body. Exactly. You've got your normal foot on there? Yes. Yeah, just a normal foot on there. I think if you had a quarter inch foot on this one, it might catch on the um, <clears throat> on the nap of the fabric, won't it? It could do. Yeah. Just to make sure these are all lining up. It's all gone quiet now, so we're about to approach the smile bit, aren't we? Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. Da, 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 da. I'm just sandwiching in the fin. That was written by Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. So I've bent oh, the music, not the lyrics. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you did the whole thing. Oh, oh of course you are. Right. Are we at the mouth? Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. OK. So the needle's down. Yeah. I'm going to lift this up and only on the grey. I'm just going to see if I can just make a little snip, just a tiny snip, just to give it a bit more freedom. Yeah. And then reposition these round. And it's the pointy bit. It's sort of this bit of the blue that just needs to be pulled out of the way. Yeah. There. So reposition that round, make sure that's not forming a tuck. And then just carefully ease it through. There. And then Carry up. Mm -hmm. Just make sure those markers are going to line up. Because you don't want to be left with not enough fabric yes. on this side when you get to the other. <coughs> Which is why it's important when you've got notches and, and nicks and everything that you match them up so then you know that when you get round everything will be in the right place. Yes, because if you've got one side fitted perfectly and then the other doesn't quite match up, it's yeah. quite infuriating. So you literally just do a few stitches, realign it, always have your needle down. If you've got a machine that's got a needle down position, always put it in there. If you've got a machine like my old one, I haven't got my new one yet, um, just make sure it's always down before you start repositioning. I used to have a machine that didn't <clears> have a needle down and you just... You get used to doing it with your foot, yes. just giving it yeah. the, just the right amount just to lower the needle. Would the walking foot be any use, Jenny from Warwickshire? Oh, she must live near me. Would the walking foot be any use? It could be, actually. Stop. Yeah, because it will feed both layers through at the same time. It might be helpful. It's worth giving it a try. Oh, there I, you go, Jenny. Thank you. I actually have an integrated walking foot on my machine. So my, Pardon? I stitch everything. It has a, an integrated walking foot, so I have it on all the time, apart from doing zips. So, I don't even understand what that means. Instead of having a separate foot that yeah. you put on as a walking foot, you can just attach, click something down, and... And it's a walking foot. And it's a walking foot. It'll perform like a walking foot. Oh. So I do everything, really, with that one. So I'm... Although, yeah. But so, you do zigzag on a walking foot and everything? Yes. Oh. On, on, on the one I... Yes, yeah. I, I do. Oh. Right, so I'm getting to that point again. Yeah, I'll be quiet. So it needs to come past... It is helpful to mark on, actually, where that point is, yeah. with the needle down. Snip. A tiny little snip. This bit looks like you're going to do an operation, because you'd like... It does have a slightly surgical feel to it. 
<clears throat> Somebody just asked if I'll be back in time for uh, Debbie Shaw. Not Mandy Shaw, not Debbie Shaw. Mandy Shaw's next weekend. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, Paul asked. Uh, yes, I will. Um, she's on on uh, it, the first weekend in September. So I'm back by then. And she's on for the whole weekend. She's on on Saturday and the Sunday. Right. So I've pulled that corner out again. Yeah. So that's where it should be. And then... Oh, those glittery pumps you're wearing. <laughs> everyone's wearing... Oh, there we go. It's a bit close from there, like in that one. Um, <laughs> everyone's wearing glittery pumps. Uh, Lucy had ones on with silver stars on hers yesterday, like trainers, like little flat trainers, certain make. I am a bit of a magpie. I do like a, a shiny, sparkly something. How do you know? Everyone's what? No, that's not the make. That's not the make. Lots of people are saying the cordless one of the make of the, of the Hoover I've got is brilliant, but this is a different make. I'll just tell you, G-Tech. It's called G-Tech. Other Hoovers, other vacuums are available. That is the one. If you get one, can you let me know? Yes. But it's just every other advert is, uh, I've got a who you can buy a hoover, you can buy a bike, you can buy a tree cutter, you can buy... I've bought... Oh, can I read it out loud? Oh, yes. I've bought a pair of 11-inch surgical tweezers for toy stuffing. I don't know how I ever managed without them. Can you please let Joe know? Uh, Julie's got some. Oh, 11-inch surgical tweezers for toy stuffing. Um, Mandy has some, but hers are, like, tweezers, but flat, like... They look like they're, like they're things that you squish, squish an artery with when you're going to cut an artery or something. That sounds awful. Like I, a don't know, I don't know anything about medicine, but that's what it looks like to me. Maybe it might be the same thing. But thank you, Julie. <clears throat> there we go. So I'll race through this. I might have to investigate those. I'm Come a bit on. low tech with my stuff. I just use a screwdriver or an orange stick or thing. Or oh, Derek the Dobber. Oh, Derek the Dobber's in tomorrow. Oh, no, not Derek the Dobber. Derek's in tomorrow. Derek's on tomorrow. <clears throat> there we go. It's all it's done. done. And hopefully, I've got a good seam allowance around the cheek. Yep, right. there's the little snip I made. Right. Like there's the grey one snipped, and there's the blue corner. Right. So we'll just turn We've it. got five minutes, Jo. I think that's got a nice corner to yeah. the smile. And having said, I don't... And with the tail, do bring the seam down at the point. What do you mean? Try to follow it, the edge around, and bring it down to quite a, oh, deep, yes, quite it's quite a deep point. Because it's quite... Even you're still only using, <coughs> excuse me, your normal seam allowance, but it feels like you're going far too deep sometimes, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. But it definitely. And do you snip that or not? Not on this side. It no. definitely means you've caught that in properly. But on no. this side, actually, I do the give it one, yeah. a little snip there, just on the grey side. Yeah. And then, also, I should have said before, really important when you're marking out your pattern pieces, make sure you transfer the mark for the eye, the position of the eye. Oh yes. Because yes. you don't want to get to this point and think, oh. Where does Where's it go? The eye go? Because when it's marked like this, you know <clears throat> they'll be in the same place on both sides. So I'm just going to make a little snip. Um, there. I'll, I'll do a roundup in a second when Joe, because Joe's almost finished now, and I'll do a roundup everything then. Uh, if you don't want to use the eyes, if you're giving it to like a, a little baby, could you sew on a like a French knot like you do on your other? You could. You could embroider your... an eye on. Yeah, only only because I'm just I like these eyes. But imagine if you gave that to a baby baby. I mean, they're quite... they're pretty. They're, they're, well no, they are pretty, uh, what I'm saying is they're pretty safe, but I, they always say, don't they, just beware of things like that, because they are a screw. If you see here, Joe's just um, cut a hole in the fabric, pushed smallest, the eye through. Smallest hole possible through which yeah. to get this part of the eye. And then if I was using a really thin fabric, I would put a square of, of the other, felt uh, yeah. on just to really act as a bit of a washer. Yeah, because once that's on, it's on, but... Once it's on, you can't get it off No, again. no, but I'm just, um, you know, I'm just over... Health and safety ways. Yeah. But no, you can't experiment and then think you can take the back off and reposition it. You can't. Once the back's on, yeah. that, that eye has been used. 
I mean, they should, I'm, what I'm saying is, they should be baby safe, but I'm, like, when, when friends bring their babies around to my house, I like, uh, well, not in this house so much, but I used to put cushions around, the, when I had the Victorian house, I had a high marble fireplace, I used to put cushions all around the fireplace, and they'd be like, no, he's fine, he's fine, like, oh, no, I don't want, because, so I'm just being <clears throat> ultra careful, that's all. There <clears throat> we go. Okay, the electric blue single, not this one, not this one, the electric blue one, there's only seven of those left. But I will go through, if Joe's nearly finished, I will go through all of them now. Till I go through it, or two minutes till the end. Oh, OK, we normally get... OK. Make sure I've pushed all this tail out. But that's it, that's the whale made. It's just a case now of stuffing it. Yeah. And then there isn't any shaping or anything else because the seam gives the mouth its shape. It's just stuffing it and closing the bottom with ladder Brilliant. stitch. What are you doing tomorrow? Owl and the Pussycats. Oh, well. And a uh, cat door stop. OK, thank you. Have a lovely time, Festival Quilts. Go and see thank Joe you. at the Festival Quilts. I'm just going over to the fabrics very quickly. Electric Blue is this one. Uh, this is the single one. You can make one uh, of the whales with this. And you get half a meter of the fabric, you get the thread, you get the eyes, you get the stuffing for one, and you get the instructions. £19.95. There it is. Uh, we'll go through all the mono ones. The white one. Uh, there's only seven of the blue ones left, just so you know. The white ones, which is the one Hayley would have. White fabric, white thread, stuffing, eyes and instructions. £19.95. There you go. That's the one Hayley would choose. Then the one that Joe has already made. The lilac one. Graphics coming in. Do you know what? Do you know what the best thing to do is just go. If you're watching on the web, just go down underneath the screen and you'll see all of these listed. Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. <clears throat> okay, and then the other solid one like this is the, the fuchsia pink one. Again, nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence. If you want the duo pink one, just go onto the website. You can find that one. No, that's it. Don't go anywhere. I'm back here in three minutes' time with brand new um, batik fabrics. They're gorgeous. I'll see you in three from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. So today I'm going to be showing you how to sew a satin stitch. This is basically a line of straight stitches covering an area, let's say a petal, um, and they'll be parallel and adjacent to each other giving you a nice satin finish. So I'm using embroidery thread and I do have a, a knot in the end just for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to be taking my needle from the back to the front of my work and I'm just going to sew a simple square. So I've done my first line of stitching. And you can see that I'm coming in very close, but not through the same hole that I did before. So my next line of stitching will be parallel to the one I've just created. Just going to keep doing that. There we have our setting stitch. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Britain's favourite sewing show is coming to London and will be there with bells on. The Great British Sewing Bee Live is taking place over four days from the 21st to the 24th of September at XL London. 
If you're a hobbyist dressmaker who's been inspired by what you've seen on the sewing bee, a seasoned professional looking for new ideas, or just fancy taking dressmaking up for the first time, this is the event for you. We are proudly sponsoring the Demo Theatre with live performances from designer, author and former sewing bee contestant Jennifer Taylor throughout the weekend. And with our discount code SQD, you'll get £1.50 off your ticket. So what are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now and join the buzz at the Great British Sewing Bee live this September. I've got to tell you about the sewing bee and Hayley went, don't worry, tell them in the next break. Uh, my next break, I'm going home. Thank you. Uh, now, 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 that advert there, uh, all about the same beat. Make sure you book your tickets. It's fantastic. Jennifer Taylor's going to be there doing, um, I haven't been invited, but Jennifer Taylor's going to be there doing uh, demonstrations and everything. Uh, and then you can get discount. If you saw on the um, advert then, rewind it or see it next time it comes around, you can get discount on your tickets and everything. Right, uh, before I go any further, one thing we forgot to mention in the last hour was this ribbon that we sell here. Hayley loves it. If Hayley could put this in every single show, she would do. It's lovely ribbon. It comes on the roll like this, on that way up. It's Berifer's Handmade Ribbon with Love. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry, I was just a bit concerned that Jay's putting everything on a cutting board over there. Three pounds and 95 pence. I don't want a cutting board, I want plastic sheets so I can put the edge coat on, that's all. Given away now what I've got coming up this hour. Anyway, three pounds and 95 pence, that ribbon. Three pounds and 95 pence, I'll put, ooh. I don't know what we'll do. There you go, oh, there you go. Right, let's do the bundles first. Now I've got some fabulous, uh, fabulous batik fabric coming up in this hour. Uh, last time I did batiks with um, Hannah, everything sold out, everything sold out. So please, please, please be careful. It, was, uh, it can't have been this week. It must have been at the end of last, what day is it today, Friday? Saturday, I think it was at the end of last week I launched it. it was, it's only been in the last, no, anyway, about a week ago, week 10 days ago. Right, let's do bundles. Three gorgeous bundles. This one's called, oh, Purple Complimentary, this one's called. <laughs> I think they've got a bit bored with the names, haven't they? Uh, this is lovely. Three, uh, you get half a metre of each of these. You get, oh, it's not coming up today. Um, really, they're lovely, aren't they? You get half a metre of each one of these. I'll go through the details afterwards. Nine pounds and 45 pence. You don't need to know, know the colours because they actually come through like that, but I will tell you the colours when we do it next. So I'm just getting rid of all the, um, the grey fluff from the whale. Uh, then I've got the pink. This is nice. Sorbet pinks. Now, this is the upstairs of Hannah's house. If you put a grey in there, that would be the upstairs of Hannah's house. Apparently, I've... I've, no, I've, never even been, I've never been to the house. She just tells us. Downstairs is yellow and grey and upstairs is pink and grey. Uh, that's the pink complimentary bundle, one and a half metres of fabric. Someone else has done the graphics for these, haven't they? Nine pounds and 45 pence. Right, okay, and then this one, which is a bit of a Caribbean-y, well, I'd go lovely with the batiks, wouldn't the Indonesian batiks, this. Turquoise complimentary. Bundle, one and a half metres of fabric for £9.45. pence. They're all spectrum solids. We love a bundle. We love a bundle. And it gives you a, a little hint of what's about to come. Right, now what I'm going to do, like I always do with these shows, is I'm going to show you the fabric quickly so you can start buying it straight away. And then we'll go through each and every one uh, properly and mix and matching with the bundles. Okay, first one. Now, you know sometimes how batik is quite um, dressed and heavy with dressing, right? This isn't at all, this is lovely. Wait till you see the price of this. Wait till you see the price of this. Now, obviously this is a meter that I'm showing you. There you go. Beautiful, isn't it? Batik, the workmanship that goes into batik. I'm gonna go through them quickly. Watch. £3.45 for half a metre. Uh, it's cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's not a blended cotton. It's 100% cotton. The fabric is called blender. 
multiple colored pink. See that one's got that, oh anyway, half a meter, three pounds and 45 pence. That one's quite limited. This, now this one's been on before, hasn't it? This one has been on before, so we're very limited with this one. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Oh, okay, right, um, Hayley's saying she thinks that one will be sold out by the time we get to see it for a second time. Uh, you could make a shirt out of it if you wanted to. I think it would be nicer in a lady's blouse. Right, here we go. And now this one is like the blues equivalent of that one. Now this one looks like oil on water, doesn't it, this one? Uh, this one's called the Blues and Purples. Batik, that's, oh, I like that, splattered. The splattered effect of the blues and purple. It says blue and purple. It's got loads of purple in it here. Oh, you can not see it on the telly. There's low, what it is, is where it's blending. You've got blue in the middle and then deep, this is all deep purple, this round here. This is all purple, that's purple, that's purple. I'll lift it up, see if you can see better colorways there. No, no, there's deep, there's deep amethyst purples in there. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to see on your camera. How much of that have I got? Is that a premiere then? Okay. Put that one there. Right here. Then, now these are gorgeous. I haven't seen any of these before. I've not seen any of these at all ever before. And I love this. Clamshells. Now, I need to warn you that this is quite limited. Well, not as limited as those, but this is quite limited. I love this. This is gorgeous. You know, like this. You've seen the advert. You know, Paul, who's one of our new experts, who's starting next week, right? He makes shirts. Oh, he's on a Monday. He's on a Monday, right? He makes shirts. He'd love this. He'd love this fabric. Never been on before. This is a premiere, premiere, premiere. It's not lovely. That is beautiful. That's, um, now, it's just called blues and greens. I'd have called that clamshells or... Because you can see the clamshells tessellated. Oh, well, shut up, shut up, shut up. Moving on. Uh, look at this one. This one's like fireworks going off in the pink sky. This is going to be like my Christmas decorations, this. This is going to be my Christmas is going to be summed up by this. Uh, I don't know why they're called 50s cotton batty, because it's, uh, it's, I don't know, it's not the weight, is it? They're 100% cotton. Yeah, yeah, 40 inches wide, and wash at 30 degrees, like all our cottons. But that's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what the 50S means. Um, is it, because uh, uh, you wouldn't normally see a weight of fabric as 50S, would you, but... Anyway, I'll keep going on. Whoops, might just be the range. Maybe batiks were very big in the 50s, I don't know. That definitely was before my time. Okay, then, now, uh, you know Paul that I just mentioned, who's going to be on on Monday. The next two fabrics, he's going to absolutely adore because he collects elephants. He collects elephants, and look, This is beautiful, look at this. Oh, this is the paler blue, I've got to see, I'll show you them. I'll show you, I've got them in the two blues, that's the other blue, that's coming up in a minute. So this one's got multicolored elephants and this one's got yellow elephants. Gold, yeah gold, they're not shiny gold like the, um, like the clam shells, oh unless, hang on. No, no, no. Three pounds and 25 pence a metre. No, I know we said this last time we showed this because the workman that goes into batik work is incredible. So to do it for 3.25 for half a metre, it's, if you've had, um, now you know the batik cotton that was in our fat quarters earlier and we've had, a, this, is, this is more like a lawn. This is like a batiste, batiste or a lawn, this one. It's a really, really, you wouldn't make a skirt out of this. It's more of a blouse weight fabric. It's not as heavyweight as our other batiks. I'd say, I'd say, 
Uh, I mean, you could make, you, well, the kind of skirt you'd have to make out of it, if you were going to make a skirt, would be, you know, a really, really a summer beachwear. Summer beachwear, or a very, very, like just a gathered in, very, very simple skirt. Couldn't, wouldn't make a formal skirt at all. It wouldn't make a tailored skirt. You haven't got any, that hasn't got the, not the, I don't want to say the strength, but it hasn't got the weight to go behind a tailored skirt. But a sarong, you can make gorgeous sarong, or what those long things you wear over your bikini. Um, kaftan, 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 kaftan. Right, now then, this is lovely. This is beautiful. Look at the elephants on this one. Look, look at the workmanship. Do you know how a batik is made? You start off with a, a plain piece of white fabric and they, they, they paint on wax, like a candle wax, but it's running. They paint it on of the places where they don't want the colour to go. So then, say, imagine they started this with this blue, right? So they'll paint everywhere that they don't want the first blue to go. They'd dye it, they'd let it dry, they'd wash the wax off, they'd iron it. Then they paint on the bits where they don't want the green to go. So it's like working in the opposite the whole time. There's so much work that goes into batik. Aren't they lovely? Now, this is called blue background, multiple coloured, oranges and yellows fabric. <laughs> That's gorgeous, isn't it? No mention of the elephants. This is lovely, brand new, brand spanking new. Right, I've got two left to show you. Now, if elephants aren't your thing, but turtles might be. Oh, I like this colourway as well. I love this colourway. Look, they're all saying beach, they're all saying holiday, they're all saying tropical. Oh, look, now that's like looking at, through a glass-bottomed boat in, when you're in the Caribbean, doesn't it? He says he's never been on a glass-bottomed boat in the Caribbean. Oh, what? Greece? Yeah, that's Greece. Is it? Oh. Uh, in the Persian Gulf, there's great big giant turtles. My dad, when he worked in the Persian Gulf, used to sit on the beach and watch them waddle up the beach, dig a hole, lay their eggs, and then go off to sea. And then however many weeks later, all the baby ones all came bursting out of the sand and everything and raced towards the sea. That's nice. Right, and then one left, one left, one left to show you. This one is very regal. Now, when I worked in South Africa, and I, uh, where all the ladies from the local townships came to work with me in the costume department, before they called me their mayor, they used to call me the mayor of Badplas because I got everything sorted out for them. They made me a prince's suit. And it was out of fabric. It was a turquoise version of this. I'll bring in the picture one day. It was the turquoise. So I had trousers, a jacket, and a hat, all made out of the fabric, very, very like this. And they'd made the fabric themselves. And then they got with the local princess, who was the tailor S, to make me a suit. Three pounds and twenty-five pence for half a meter. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That's beautiful. I love the. That's like a moody sky behind, isn't it? with that lovely gold floral and leaf. I'm going to go and do eau de coat now. That's right. And then we'll come back and do mixing and, mixing and matching, if that's right. Right. Uh, the reason we've got the eau de coat is we thought that if you didn't make clothes with them and you wanted to make um, something out of them that you need eau de coating, if you don't know what eau de coat is, come with me. Oh, my, I'm all untucked, I'm afraid. Um, it's a, a, a fabric, a, it's a, a solution that you paint onto fabric to make it like oil skin. I'll show, you, I'll show you this. Here, this hat comes. This hat comes. It's called eau de coat. Waterproof adhesive gel, it's called. And it's £14.95. Now, whenever I bring this to air, it's always very, very, very popular. Now, yours will have... Oh, <laughs> nearly. Yours will be full, obviously. This is the one we use to show display. But that's what it's like. It's like a gloopy... A loopy fabric. Let me show you what it... Have you got the, um, the one that I dip in the water? You know, the purple rain one, the long thin one. What you can do is these were done um, after... A lot of people put the eau coat on the fabric before they make something. But the, that's the one, that's the one. These, are, these were the ones that uh, Rebecca Reed made and she eau coated afterwards. And she just put a layer or two on there. So um, what you can do, I'll just show you, right? What you can do is you can just do the outside 
and not the inside. Or if you've got a, if you're making a, a wash bag and you want the inside to be the waterproof. So if your shampoo leaks or anything, it's not going to come out all over your suitcase and go over all your clothes. Let me just show you what you do. It's very, very, very simple. Now, if you look in on the website, uh, on YouTube or anything like that, there are loads and loads and loads of um, uh, videos. Got scissors. Uh, loads and loads and loads of um, videos of how you can do this. They all show putting on with a credit card, right? I prefer, to, I have to say, to put it on with a brush like this, with a brush like this, but make sure you always wash the brush. Right? I'll just show you quickly, because I only want to do a little square of it. I'll just take this off here. Just easier for me to show you how to do it. Literally, you just get your um, gloop and you paint it onto the fabric. You literally paint it onto the fabric like this. And using the brush, you work it in between all the fibers. Oops, come on, John, one job. It's like doing wallpapering, wallpapering. Right, and just paint it on, work it into the fabric. Now, if you do it like this, you won't waste any, but if you want to, or if you're a bit, little bit more slap happy than me, what you then do is you get a credit card and you literally, an old one, don't use one that you're using at the moment, and literally scrape it over the surface so it spreads it out and it's any excess you can put back into the jar. Then what you need to do is you need to leave, if you're only gonna put one coat on, you need to leave that for 24 hours and then use it to sew. But if you're gonna put two layers on or three layers on, depending on how much of an effect you want to have, then you leave it for an hour till it's tacky and then you put the next layer on. Now I'll just show you, we've got, we've got the three that we've done before here. So this has got, now you saw this fabric earlier in the, in the fat quarter bundle. You see this is with one layer on. This is with two layers on. You can see how it gets a little bit more shiny and the fabric has more, a little bit more substance to it. Then this, is with three layers on, right? It's not rigid, you can still sew it with a normal sewing machine, but you can feel that that is totally dressed. And it, it's not, I wouldn't say it was waterproof, waterproof, but it's definitely shower proof. Because I'll just show you this one that we've made before. Right, oh, sorry, the towel's over there. Jay, don't go away, I need the towel. Um, this is one we've made before. Got a lining inside and everything. So, I'll just very quickly show, I'm gonna dunk this straight into the water, right? Look. Look how the water just completely runs off the fabric. It is like water off a duck's back, like working here, really. Uh, but you see what I mean? It kind of just runs, it runs off. And I've really put that into the fabric, into the water there. Let's give it a quick dry. Um, so if you odor-coated like a rucksack, if you odor-coated, I always think a tablecloth for the garden. Uh, and then, but look, it hasn't gone through, hasn't gone through to the lining inside. So if you've made, you know, sort of, so if you've made a bag out of it or something like that, then um, it's brilliant because the inside, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say a picnic blanket, I'd say a tablecloth uh, because it's kind of crunchy, like a bit like oilcloth really, isn't it? So if you have it on the middle of your, like a tablecloth in the middle of your picnic blanket, so then this is how it is when it's wet and then you literally leave it for an hour. I'm afraid I can't stay for an hour to, see, to show you. But then what you've got to do is you've got to make sure you wash your brush. You've got to make sure you wash your brush afterwards, but get all the gloop off it and everything. It's absolutely brilliant for 14 pounds and 95 pence. You get 250 uh, milliliters, is it called? Milliliters in there. And somebody messaged in saying they did a meter and a half of fabric with one pot. Oh, and oh, did they? I didn't hear that bit. Apparently I had a little bit left. Okay, right. Uh, well, I could just show, uh, these are the fabrics we've done that we, we also did here. Uh, to show you, I'll show you here. This is, this is no layers and that's, that's three layers. So you don't lose the color in the fabric. Well, no, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't spoil the color of your fabric if you do it. This has only, this has only got one, one layer in it now. Oh, there we go. So your color, so you're not gonna spoil the fabric. You know, sometimes you have a fabric and you um, think, oh, I don't wanna put uh, uh, anything on it in case it changes. Doesn't change the fabric whatsoever. All that'll happen is on that one, you see that one? It's just that that's um, one, between one and three. So the three is just shinier. 
Just brilliant to have. I always say that. So we'll be, we'll be doing a we'll be doing a show. Excuse me, I've come untucked. We'll be doing a show, and I'll say, oh, I'd odicote that. It's always, always, always good to have. But remember, you've got to plan ahead. You can't odicote it and then sew it. You have got to leave it. I'm sure it says 24 hours till you till you use it. I think it'd be ready to go ahead in six or seven hours. But you've also got to do it ahead of schedule. You know what I mean? You can't think, oh, I'll do it and do it all in one day. You do need it to do it the, the next day, really. Okay. Let's do some mixing and matching and some messages. Oh, that's, this should be out. Remember, when you buy this fabric, any fabric that comes off the roll or in a, in a um, bundle like that. Oh, upside down. They always come in the box. They always come in the box. Oh, is that, oh, oh what's, right? what's wrong with my eyesight? I thought it was upside down, turned it around. Um, you can easily see the whales, blue whales from San Diego. Oh, can you? Lots of trips available if you like boats or land. We, well, we, one day we always get, um, we, we stay on um, Mission Beach, Mission Bay, so we always get a boat and go out for the day. Uh, hello, John, have a lovely holiday. When are you back? I'm Andrew and Hilary. Uh, 31st of August, I'll be back. I don't know what I'm doing on that day or who, which guest I've got, Bobby. Colette, great show, John. Uh, would black be good as sashing, sashing on the blue and purple Bargello quilt and how much backing for a single bed quilt? <gasps> oh, now you're asking. So, Colette, first of all, black would be good, but you've got to remember, if it's going on a single bed, does that mean it's going on for a child? Because black, like, it's like whenever, I learnt this when I did my makeovers, never put a new mum in a black outfit because of your baby, baby sick and baby poo, and things like that really show up on black. So if you're gonna, if it's gonna be a child who might have sweets on their bed or anything like that, the black will really show up the stains. So sometimes it's not brilliant to put black on the backing, but, Right, so a uh, single bed is 170, that's big. I've, I, oh no, the bed spread. The bed spread is, that's from bottom right there over to the top. Because um, my bed in Gibraltar was this wide. My single bed was that wide, it's that wide. Anyway, so let's think, if you're making, how big would we say, well, I know what you need to look at. Look at the size of the batting for a single bed. That's the best thing to do. That's the way you can work out. Uh, 60... 68 by 100, that seems massive. That's, a, that's five foot, that's a, that, no, that's the width. Anyway, let, let's work it out. Let's imagine that the quilt is, from the, what Haley's given me now. So the quilt would be, what do you say? So 68 across, so you'd need two drops by 100 and what? 104 inches, that's two meters, three meters, 39. So you'd need to buy six meters, is that right? That sounds too, way too much. That sounds like a huge quilt, though. Um, do you know what, Colette, do you know what size your finished quilt's going to be? And then I can tell you how much backing to buy. Because I'm going by Haley's measurements, but my bed is only five. It's six foot long by five foot five wide, isn't it? So a single bed's not going to be that wide, is it? Because my bed's are normal. Anyway, Colette, if you can let me know how big your bed is, I'll give you more advice. Or, Colette, email it, email it, um, and then uh, I'll get somebody to answer you if I'm not here. Right. Sorry about that, Colette. It's not a very good answer, is it? Let's do... Is this one sold out? Oh, sorry, there's another message, is sorry. I do like, I do like that black sashing, though, or sashing. I don't know if you call it sashing or sashing. Um, I do like it in black, because remember when Joy did that... Um, K facet one with the black crown the outside and then the K facet made it look like a, a stained glass window, didn't it? That sold out. Another message doesn't arrive until got Colette's. Okay, right. So should we do it to the blue one next? This is one I could do with my rail, really. Because this one's called... I've got eau de coat on my fingers. Uh, also, wash your hands after you've been doing eau de coat. Um, Oh, see, look at that. Oh, we're not even halfway through the show. There's less than 10 metres of this one left. Less than 10 metres of this one left. Uh, so, at £3.45 for half a metre. Now, I haven't really got a bundle that I put with this, to be honest. You see, you need... They're the wrong purples. You'd need an amethyst and an indigo and a... There's a slight tinge of gold there. You see, I don't, these don't work. For me, these... Do, they might work for you at home. They don't work for me. They don't work for me at all, those. But so an amethyst, I'd say an amethyst, a lovely... Pet, no, no, none of those. 
A really lovely paler blue would look nice with this. Or black would look lovely with this. A black uh, would look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's so many of you. Carol, Jean, Karen, Anita, Rosamond, Kath, Barbara, Heather, Irene, Alison, Laureen, Laureen, Claudia, Lynn. But now, Anne, Carol, Joanne, Yvonne, Jeanette, Evelyn, Patricia, Jean, the list is endless. You've got it in your baskets. Please make sure you check out. Because, oh, actually, there's less than 10 metres, you say. Oh, OK, after you've checked out, there would be 10 metres, I was about to say. I was about to say. Right, OK. Um, so I haven't got anything that I could uh, team up with that. Mind you, they look fab on their own, but you could team them up with maybe one of the other batiks. The thing is, you don't always have to team it up. It depends what you're using it for, doesn't it? If you're using it in a quilt, that would be beautiful. OK, let's put that up. Now, this one's very popular. They're all very popular. They're all very, very popular. This is lovely. This is the clamshells. Well, I'm calling it the clamshells. They're all tessellated. It could be fans as well. But because we're on a holiday theme, a seaside theme. It's just called blue and greens, this one. It's only 325 for half a metre. Actually, let me, sh let me show you what half a metre looks like, because that's a metre there. Oh. I'm ever so sorry. That one's sold out. Well done if you got that one. I do apologise. I do apologise. Let's move on to the pink. This is nice. Now, I like this because you, you've got the really, really, look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful pinks in there. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, as I say, it's a lighter weight, this. It's more like a cotton, it's heavier than a cotton lawn. It's like a blouse weight rather than a skirt weight cotton, this. Beautiful, is it? 325. Right, let's have a look at this with um, some pink, shall we? Let's see if these would work. I think I'd get rid of that one and use those two. There you go. Put this in your stash. Put that one in your stash. There you go. So I'd put those two with it. 945. I mean, this one comes with this as well, but I wouldn't add that one in. I wouldn't add that one in. Just those two there would look really, really beautiful. But you could also, let's have a look at the purple bundle, because this is nice. I wonder if that would work. You see, that would work nicely. It depends what you're doing, doesn't it? That would look nice. This would be very bold. That one would be very bold with it, wouldn't it? Maybe let's go, just try to get rid of that one. There you go. There you go. That would work. Do you know what? If you, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to make you spend more money, but if you mix the, if you bought the pink bundle and the purple bundle, look, now we're talking. See, now even that one works now. Even that one works. Now you've balanced it out with the purple shades. Ooh. Yeah, 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 this one as well. I've taken, I took that one out. I took that one out because that one doesn't go. But just so you, um, you know, so that's your pink bundle. And that's your purple bundle there. I'm only telling you because I'm honest. I don't want, I, I'm not going to stand here and say, oh, yes, this goes, this goes, this goes. Then you get it home and say, oh, what's John talking about? That doesn't go. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. Oh, look. I'm loving that. Isn't it funny? We were talking about this with Anna Marie yesterday, how some fabrics, when you look at them from a distance, you suddenly go, oh, don't like that repeat. Lo I love that more. I love that. Well, you wouldn't ever match this repeat. You would never try and match this repeat. I don't know where, how far. I think it's every third line. It's every third line is the repeat on that. That's beautiful. That's really lovely. Yeah, what we we're saying is today is um, sometimes a fabric can look really lovely when you hold it there. And then when you hold it back, all you see is if there's one colour that's too bold, you just see the stripe of that bold colour. You lose the pattern completely. Right, elephants. This is the blue with the gold elephants on this one. This is nice. Now, you can use both sides of the fabric. The reverse doesn't look any different. The reverse doesn't look any different. Because when you, when you, bet it, when you paint it, when you paint it, the fabric, the dye is going right the way through. Look, the fabric's going right the way through. <gasps> oh, no. 
Nine metres, less than 10 metres of this. But is that including baskets? Right, OK, if the people who've got it in their baskets are only having half a metre each, then there are seven metres left. Remember, remember as well, with fabric this, this price and this gorgeous, you might need more than uh, one and a half metres, you might need more than three units. If you want more than one and a half metres, you need to ring. You need to ring 0800 112 44 33. You need to ring. Say it again. What was that? Lovely look. I love it because there you can't really see that there's elephants. Can you just cut them? Then come in. See the marching elephants. At three pounds and 25 pence. Now let's see if we can match that with anything from the bundles here. This yellow might be a bit too strong. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, because I'm going to take that one out, you see. Maybe you're thinking, oh, only though, I like those two colours with it. I don't want that yellow. Because I think this is more of a gold and mazy gold colour in here rather than this. Uh, the the colours in this bundle are turquoise, jade, and bright yellow. But I'm thinking that, well, the thing is, if you want to do the bright yellow, let's just have a look. It might work because you might not want it to be perfectly matched. I think it's the yellow's too, I think the yellow's too bold. I think even as an edging, the yellow's a bit too bold for that one. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I think the yellow's a bit too bold for that one. But I do love those two colours. Turquoise and jade, they're called, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Such a lovely weight as well. Make a lot, I'm thinking, it, even the weight of the fabric. Oh, do you know what would be nice? You know those, um, my niece and, and, her ex-boyfriend wore them all the time when we were on holiday last year. Like a very baggy, like harem pant almost. Like casual lounging pants, I think. They'd be, that, they'd make, these would make lovely. Or, or the, um, uh, the fisherman's pants in Jennifer Taylor's book. The, like the ones that wrap around the Thailand, Thailand fisherman's uh, trousers. That'd be lovely. No. They're like, they're like a trouser that you pull this bit through, you tie that bit round, but it makes a trouser, but there's a wrap round bit there. So you've got trousers, it's not like a sarong, you've got separate legs and everything. But I just think really nice, you know, kind of for when you're lounging around. Imagine that as a sarong, just by, this isn't big enough, but just by, like, oh no, actually, well no, if you're fat like me, hang on. No, no, I'd, I'd be ending up showing things I shouldn't be showing by the poolside. But you, if we wrap that round Hayley, what a lovely sarong that would be. Look at that drape. Isn't that lovely draped? Even the colours, you can't see that there's the elephants in it. But how beautiful is that draped? Do you want to have a look at the draping? Isn't it lovely? Isn't that beautiful? It's really, really gorgeous. You're going to love this when you get this home. That's lovely, isn't it? The elephants are multiple colours. No mention of elephants again. That is beautiful. You know... Yeah, just check on that one, because I reckon that one would be very popular. Just... OK, so we're all right with that one. Well, I say all right. We've only got... For the people watching later on tonight, we've only, at this time, at 25 to 12, we've only got th uh, 13 metres left. So hopefully it'll still be... You know the best way of checking if we've got it still in stock is if you're watching tonight at, like, or this afternoon or any, any time, because on the, on, obviously on the website it goes round and round and round. Um, if you look... I, I'll show you, Shallow, very quickly. Go to www.sewingquarter.com. Is it com? Yes, yeah, .com. Then, there you go, there you go. So now you need to press on uh, Watch the Show Live. So then, now, obviously it won't be live if you're watching later on, but that's how you watch it, right? And then you go scroll down, and there are the fabrics, you see. There's the fabrics. But now, if they sell out, 
they disappear from there. So you'll know if I'm chattering away, and if, say, it's this evening, you think, oh, I don't know if I want to ring the call centre, or don't know if I want to check out, just have a look there, and you'll be able to see if they're still available. Now, it might only be half a metre. Do you know what I mean? It might only be half a metre that's left. But you see, now you see, what's missing from there? The clamshells, they're not there, you see. The clamshells have sold out. And then the multicoloured pinky one, that's not there either, because it's sold out, you see. OK. So now we're on to turtles. This is lovely, isn't it? This is just so beautiful, this one. Right. If everybody checks out their basket right now, it's sold. Right. What, the way it works, right, the way it works is as many people as want can put it in their basket because putting it in your basket doesn't confirm your purchase, right? So a gazillion people could turn up now and put that in their basket and we'd be like, oh, blimey, there's a gazillion people there, but it would still say there's three metres left or whatever. So until somebody checks out... It's not yours, which is why we introduced the £2.95, one poster packaging for the whole day, right? Because literally, you can check out as many... So if you came in and bought that now, and then in a minute's time I showed you another one, you went, oh, I want that as well. Check out again. Or if you bought the Odeco, check out again, right? You can check out as often as you like. What will happen at midnight, they all get consolidated, and you pay one poster package of £2.95. It's brilliant. And that way you don't miss out. Who... Oh, now, oh, Shirley's message, I thought you said soon. Shirley's message saying, I need a spool holder, John. Well, I ain't got one, Shirley. No, I'll get Jay to get it for you. Jay! You mean the big one, Shirley? Like that, the one that sits like that? I'll get Jay. If we've got them in stock, I'll get, I'll get you one. I'll get you one. OK. Um, oh, is this the last one? This is the last one to show you now. Um, I'd say this one, well, I think it's more African, this one. The colours are saying Africa to me, but maybe that's because I had that suit made in Africa by my ladies in uh, Eliquitini and Bad Plus. Um, right, now this one, this'll work. Oh, no, we had loads of this one. Right, if everyone check, right, okay, if everyone checks, if you've got this in your basket, uh, you need to check out because there's more people got it in their basket than we've got in stock. Because what it is, is when you put it in your basket, we can't see how much you've put in your basket. So if somebody's put three or uh, one and a half metres in their basket, we can't see that until they've checked out. So if that happens, then, um, and then look at this bundle with it. Look at that gorgeous bundle with it there. Bundled at nine pounds and forty-five pence, you get half a meter of forest fruits. Yeah, what? What's they called? Damson and orchid. It's not, I've never seen a damson that colour before. I'd call that crushed raspberry. No, that was the middle one. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. That's all. What's that then? Orchid. Forest fruits, oh, okay. Sometimes I wonder. But this fabric's gone now, then, if everyone checks out their basket, then. Well done. Congratulations. Has Jay got that cotton reel yet for Shirley? Okay. Um. Oh, here he is. Come on in. This is Jay, everybody. Lots of ladies asking about you at the... Um, Festival of Quilts yesterday, Joe, saying, oh, they love my banter. So it's not banter, he's just useless. There he is, he's coming now. He looks a mess, there he is. Maybe, but actually, I'll stand here. You could sell this, Joe. It's for Shirley. for Shirley. Go on then, off you go. Hey, good morning, Shirley. Look at her, look at Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Good morning, Mrs. Shirley. That's it, good boy. It's a spool rack. Uh, how, many, how many reels does it hold? 60. Yeah. Jay, you've, we've been selling this since January. You've got the box in your... St and how much is it? It's 19 95 and it's really easy to put together because I did it. Oh, OK. <laughs> oh, he's suddenly confident about that yeah. bit. OK, but it has a hidden... It has hidden... Um, what sits this, doesn't it? Yeah, well, um, it can actually collapse down and fit in the drawer. I got into it. So. Show, the, show the viewers how you're doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. OK, brilliant. Well done. 
So it can either fit in a drawer like that, which I would do so it wouldn't get dust on it, but it also has on the back here, whoops, you see you do it obviously before you put all your threads on, you can put two nails or two screws in the wall and you could hang it like that. Isn't that good? Right? Look, like that. Look, so you can make, a, if you've got lots and lots of threads, you could make a whole stack of them going down your wall, couldn't you? Thank you, Jay. You can go now. Well done. Don't call us. We'll call you. We'll get messages now. Isn't it fantastic? So for 19.95, you put it together. It will do that. It will, you can get the legs out again. Oh, no. I've upset Sandra. There you go. There you go. You are naughty, John. We all love Jay. Is that, is that one of his family members, do you think? Oh, no, Wiltshire. No? No, he's from... I think he's from Liverpool. Was that accent from Liverpool, baby? Joan has said... John, you have to write your biography, Joan. Oh, jo Joan, I will write my biography one day, but I'll... I've done a one-man show, right, and uh, without everything not being my biography, and someone said to me, if there were lawyers or solicitors in that audience, you'd have been in prison by now. Because um, I've got lots of stories about Hollywood stars that I could tell you, which obviously I couldn't repeat possibly on air. But um, I will do one day. Uh, but yes, I should write my book, really. I wonder if anybody buy it, then. Thank you, Joan. Oh, Hayley says she'd buy it, when she, only because she wants to be in it. Carol McGiffin sent me hers, right, when she did hers. And I went, am I in it? And she went, no, no, I won't read it then. Look. Shall we go through these quickly? They said they're all beautiful, aren't they? They're all so beautiful. Now that, let me hold that one up. Oh, now, you know what? I'm thinking, like, if, if, say, Prada or one of the Italian designers were to make a blouse out of that, imagine how that would fly off the shelves. How much that would fly off the shelves. These are three, this is three pound 45 half meter. Oh my word. I do apologize for everyone watch, watching later. If everybody who's got that in their basket now checks out, it's sold out. So check out your basket. That's all I'm worried about. Right, so these three I've still got left. Oh, hang on, I've got four. Both elephants. Oh, okay, these four I've definitely got left. I've de but who knows for how long? Who knows for, I love, look at this one from a distance, right? That is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, um, uh, Haley's thinking garden party cushions. I'm wondering if it might be... Um, pillows, be lovely as pillows. Be lovely as pillows. I'm just worried about making a bean bag out of them because it's, it's... You could do, you could do, but the fabric's not like a heavy cotton. It's like a... Look at this, look how it drapes. Look how it drapes. It's more, look at that. Oh, that, do you know what? This will make a lovely, um, really lovely summer weight dress. You know, with like little straps and then just let it fall and you could wear it over your swimsuit or something like that. Oh, here we go. I thought we had loads of this left. If everyone checks out, we've got less than eight metres now. And that's presuming, now, what Haley just told me a minute ago is most people are buying two metres of this fabric. Most people have bought it in two metres, right? So... Or if those people who've got it in their basket have all got a metre and a half or something, then it'll have gone. It'll have gone. Do you see what I mean? And I don't want to add any undue pressure. Oh, do you know what? Let me just look at that as a... No. I'm looking for a nice pink fabric for my bathroom, because my bathroom's bright pink. Oh, yes. Somebody wants to see the iron. I'll show... Have I still got it? Yeah, yeah. I'll show the iron again in a second. Let me just run through these four fabrics that are still here, and then I'll tell you about the iron. Was there something else? Oh, no, we've done that for Shirley. Um, the odor coat's all right over there. Yes, we're all right, we're all right. I'm sure there was something else. Oh, the panda quilt. Uh, this one sold out. This one sold out. This is a Joel Jubri. Oh, something's happened. Um, I sold out, but we have got it in two other colourways. We had it in Cave uh, Sunshine, and we had it in a spot-on with five different spot-on colours. Uh, I'll get, uh, if Jay's around, I'll get him to get those fabrics out, and I'll show you. Uh, this one, this is elephant, golden elephants, this one. It's beautiful, this, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. 
How am I doing with stock for this one? Turquoise background with yellow elephants. Oh, my word. Right, I need to just have a quick word to do. If everybody checks out now, there's only four metres left. So, please, if you've got this in your basket, check out, check out, check out. If not, because somebody else could, what could happen? So, you, if you, say you put a metre in your basket, right? You sit down and think, right, I'm going to have a cup of tea, I'll ring my, ring my mate and have a chat and da da da. And then you come back to check out later. In the meantime, someone else could have come and put it, put it in their basket and checked out, and that would have been it. That would be it, they've got it and you haven't. I just, this is why I always say check out, not to add any undue pressure. I wouldn't want to do that to any of you, but I also know what disappointment feels like. You know what I mean? So if you want it, you need to check out. And also it's only 325 half a meter. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now remember, this is my last shift now before my holidays. I'll be at Festival of Quilts tomorrow. Uh, and then that's it, I'm, fly I'm, going up to I'm going on my holidays tomorrow evening. This is multicolored elephants. I wonder if Paul's bought any of this. Put the will you put the names up for me of who's bought this? Would that be possible? I'll have to wait for the graphics coming before I look. This is lovely, isn't it? Look at that fabric. Beautiful, gorgeous fabric. Got them. June and May, and Trees, Linda, Carol, Karen, Car oh, three, four Karens. Now. I've got no Paul from the Northwest. No. I wonder where Mary Jane lives. I don't know what that, is that Wales, do you think? I won't say in case it's a tiny, tiny village and she doesn't want you to know that she's buying, but. Three pounds and 25 pence for half a meter. This is lovely, isn't it? How much this is left? Okay, if everyone checks out the basket, I've still got 11 metres of that. That's unusual. I thought that one would have gone quickly. And then last but not least, I've got the turtles. Turtles. And then, oh, there we go. Turtles. Let me get the iron out while I remember. Oh. Turtles. This is lovely. This is very, very... This is saying to me, um, like a Hawaiian shirt, really, isn't it? Short sleeve summer shirt. Or a little girl's dress. You have to, might have to be careful because they, 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 they're quite big. So if you made it into a little girl's dress, you'd only get like two or three of them on the front, wouldn't you? But it's still very lovely. That's that. They're after you, Jay. Three pounds and 25 pence. Am I right? Are you from Liverpool, Jay? I couldn't quite figure out that accent. They've had some people messaging in saying to leave you alone. He loves it. He loves it, really. It's his 15 minutes of fame. Three pounds and 25 pence for half a metre. He's busy clearing up the old coat now. It's more, more on the desk now than when I was there. Right, let's talk about the eye. Oh, no, uh, let's talk about this quilt, first of all. The panda quilt. This, this one sold out. Oh, the turtle's about to sell out. Turtle's about to sell out. Sorry, me too. Right. Um, this one, the Joel Drewbury, is sold out. Um, have we... So I'll show you this one. This is one we've created for you. So I'll show you the fabric. So you get... Half a metre of the black, a metre of the white, and a metre of the heron grey. And then these beautiful spot-on fabrics here, you get half a metre of each of these, £63.95. So half a metre of each of those, plus all those. You also get, well, I need to show you the still, because you get more than just the fabric, don't you? You get Bonderweb, you get... There you, oh, there you go. So you get the instructions, the uh, marker pen, the water raised bar. You get three embroidery threads. You get bonded web. You get wadding. You get two threads, and you get all the fabric for sixty-three pounds and ninety-five pence. And you'll have fabric left over because you get half a meter of each of the spot-on fabrics. Lovely, isn't it? Okay. I hope that helped. Uh, and then somebody else wants to see the iron. I love this iron. I love this. Don't worry, it's not plugged in. Thirty-nine ninety-five doesn't weigh much at all. Doesn't weigh much at all. But I say that it's got the weight where you need it. The weight is in here. The, the handle is obviously not hollow, but that's where the water is. But it's got it's got enough weight to make an impression when you're ironing. That's what I want to say. But it doesn't. It's not as heavy as an iron iron. Um, it's a steam iron, so you get the water goes in there, little stopper there, and you get with it a little pourer, to, you know, a little measurer to put the water in. 
Uh, these here is how you can see how full your little tank is. Button, steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. Uh, look here. Super powerful. Have we got the uh, still? Have you got the still of this then or not? Only because it's really nice, the, 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 the way it comes packaged to you and everything. Uh, seam on, seam off. You've got the uh, temperature gauge here. You've got the little uh, clip there to put your wire in, whether it's when you're ironing or when you're packing it away. Then you've got the uh, light here, so it obviously comes on when you first plug it in, goes off when it's ready. And the jet of steam coming out of there is just fantastic. $39.95. We've sold so many of these now. So many. And whenever we show them, we always get messages in saying, oh, I've got that. It's brilliant. Oh, I've got that. It's fantastic. Or oh, my friend's got that. It's amazing. £39.95. Uh, okay. Shall I move on? Don't worry. Don't worry. We haven't got the steel because I'm going home in a minute. Um, and there was something else, wasn't there? What was the other thing I was about to do then? Oh, I know. The ribbon. The ribbon, the ribbon, the ribbon. If you make something for somebody, how nice is it to actually let them know that it's handmade with love? This is a ribbon that we sell. You get it on a roll like this. I'm not on a roll. I'm on a downward, very steep downward uh, thingy me. Uh, it's red and natural because it's got the red on the right and the black and the, on the natural background there. Uh, handmade with love, three pounds and ninety-five pence. You get four meters of that. And then we, uh, Joe's just sewn it in here. You can sew it on the back of quilts. You could sew it in clothes if you made somebody some, something a, a lovely outfit. Three ninety-five. The ribbon I'm talking about, not that. And Jeff, this whale still a vote, isn't he cute? This is lilac. This one. This is the single. We did. Oh, some of those left. If you want to go onto the website and have a look at those, there's some of those left. Yeah. Right. So I better do a sum up then, hadn't I? Don't forget that, 1995. It's on the website down there. Three bundles we had in this out. I think they're three lovely bundles. Three lovely bundles. Even if you got the batik or you didn't get the batik. Three really gorgeous bundles. Got the turquoise and yellow one here first. You get uh, one and a half metres of fabric. Half a metre of each. Turquoise, jade and bright yellow. They look gorgeous together. They look absolutely stunning together. All three of the bundles. I love all three bundles. But I'm just honest with you. What goes with what? That's all. So that's a turquoise complimentary bundle, one and a half metres for nine pounds and 45 pence. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nine pounds and 45. Sorry, Haley's doing some maths in my ear. I do apologise, everyone. Fabric Fiesta, oh, it's 100. 112-44-33. Go to the website quarter.com. Turquoise. It's nice, isn't it? Keep going through for those. Keep going through for those. Right, okay. let's put that one away. What it is, is a lot of people don't have the... Um, not, I don't want to say the uh, confidence, but it's, it does, it's very difficult sometimes to match fabrics. It's always nice if someone else suggests fabrics to go together. This one, they've nicked this one from my eye. Do you remember when I did my bundles a couple of weeks ago? I put these three together, plus I had two other colours in my bundle. Um, really lovely, isn't it? So you've got damson, forest fruits, Deep Orchid, that's it, Deep Orchid. Half a metre, half a metre of each of those you get at £9.45. Very popular bundle, that one. I'm not surprised, I love those colours. Half the stock of those has gone. Half the stock of those has gone. Do ring in 0800 112 4433. Go to the web, pop one in your basket, make sure you check out. They're beautiful colours together. Now, do you know what? I'm going to show you the next bundle, which is the complimentary pink bundle. But then I'm going to show you something else as well. Have a look at these. Uh, what will you be doing this time next week, John? Will you be laying on the beach for two weeks? Oh, yes. Sandra? Yes. Uh, I'll be a beach rat. This will be me. This will be me. Like that. Oof. Uh, no, we do a lot as well. Also, I've got to go to LA to see a lot of my friends who um, st still work in uh, Hollywood and places like that. So I will be popping over to LA for a couple of days as well. Uh, if you want to come. 
so this is £9.45. That's the pink complimentary. But you know what? If you're getting that, those are called candy floss, magenta and baby pink, right? But look, I'd buy those together. I'd buy, but if you can, if you want them, look at those together. So that there is the pink complimentary. This here is the purple complimentary. So for £20, just under £20, right? You get that and that? I think, and those, I think, work beautifully together. Really, really gorgeous together. Have we got tomorrow's menu ready? I haven't. I've only got three minutes. Is Derek on tomorrow? Derek on tomorrow. Right, so that's all of those done. Uh, that's that done. Bitty tidying up for Jay. 1995, remember, 60 spools, that one holds. Right, should we just check the availability of these last three? I do love this one. Do you know what? I sort of love this one f from a distance. Lovely, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Batik. I know, it's, uh, things are all new today. Oh, if everyone checks out, when everyone checks out, it's sold out. You might, oh, right, I've just been told more people have just put it in their basket. So you, some people will not get this. It's lovely, I'll put it away then. Some people, look at that. My table's empty. My table is bare. Uh, then I've got the two elephant fabrics left. The one with the gold elephants. We'll just check availability. Now, this one we had about uh, in the teens, I think, you know, kind of something like 17 metres on this one left. I just think they're cute, aren't they? Or oh, are they Indian elephants or African elephants? Oh, no! We had loads of this one. Right, not everyone's going to get that. Not everybody. If you've got that in your basket, you need to check out straight away. Oh, dear. Just as well, I've only got three minutes left, isn't it? I've only got one fabric left. All sold, right? Oh, now if you want the, it's all gone, so I can't check, go over and show you the Oja coat. If you want the Oja coat, that's very popular as well. This hour, Jay tidied up for a change. <laughs> elephants, multicolored elephants. Right, the only fabric I've got left. Ten meters, you can ring in for this. Ten meters, I've got left of that one. I have to say, we had more of this. We had more of this than we did the others. That's why, oh, look. That would make a lovely wall hanging as well, wouldn't it? That's beautiful. If you've got a conservatory, that fabric would look nice in a conservatory as well, wouldn't it? Wafting in the breeze, look like that. Right, let's do tomorrow, tomorrow's menu. It's Derek tomorrow. Uh, uh, here we go. So soft toys and storage tomorrow. So, uh, Joe Carter will be here at 8 o'clock doing the owl and the pussycat. She'll be, she'll be better than she was today. She'll have had a good night's sleep. Then at 9 o'clock, uh, Derek's got back. And I, no, I'm saying that nicely. I'm not saying it horribly. Uh, she's tired. Oh, love, she's been very busy. 9 o'clock, bags of fun. That's Derek doing uh, bags. Then we've got 10 o'clock, cuddly cat. Now, what's the cuddly cat? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a Joe Carter original, cuddly cat. And then at 11 o'clock, uh, Derek's doing Get Organised. So that'll be everything you need for storage and everything to organise your workroom, etc. Right, now I've got 45 seconds to say, make sure you go to Festival of Quilts. If you go this afternoon, you'll see Joe Carter, you'll see Hayley, producer, I go like that, not Hayley, Hannah, producer. Uh, if you go tomorrow, I'll be there. So will Joe Carter be there. And uh, also I'm doing a show in the theatre at 1.45 tomorrow with old, what's her name? Mandy Shaw. Now, Mandy Shaw is, a, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this, but she's back in the first weekend of September and she's on on both days, the Saturday and the Sunday with me. Uh, I'll be back on the 31st of August. Thanks ever so much for your company. Thanks ever so much for all your good wishes. Thanks for all the lovely words you said to me at Festival of Quilts yesterday. And hopefully I'll get some more tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. See you on the 31st. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us.
don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com.